There's so much in the moment. In this moment, this is something, and I can go on enjoying thinking of the Buddha. And there are levels of certain energy you can generate in your mind if you can go into into the Buddha. As we think is a statue or something, it's okay. <laughs> what we think it becomes. So, I hope all of you will have peace of mind. And mano bhasha in danya kamati mandanya me kam to English in desi no adeng. Me a mahatya ke single in kya dikhe na. Me mahatya loku phonda veda kalla thira. Beyond sight ne mukad beyond. Beyond sight. Chimima gaye mata ikka mahatya kiti na gati hoye Lanka. <laughs> oh, a discourse a hurry martia di la tame duni. Hurry, no hurry. Make how to take a dun and then make a place current in the a program make a tama him a banaka with it was it. Take a tea gano, mandane, mama, plan current name. A car me cacari matater in name me are a vasta vanu, the good act, new and a pet, a baravi, baravi, deshanavagia. Then at Tamang and William and even at Bada can never kick your Tamai got it doesn't even at Kino and at the name, Madame Varake, main pro main villa of him. My mind they got it, a petri among us, I then tend. Have a Yasunate, Avastava, Etina, Mekanu, Matanigang in a Situilla Tanu. Then go to Kaima, Anitangle, Humbicha, I need me. That Australia were given a Katia, him, 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 him. Kamane Avastavini, Yavastava Aya Dharma Binneka Uluta Dagat Tamata, Yam Venasak Venda Tidatino and Etene Mulujivi Tema Matat Mea Venasuni Gudaka humble and make Swami one second. Abe Ekata, Pingutuna get them at a third no make him a Venas Send. We can have a pet thing with the end on it. It came as some bandela tamayara meem cut the Arabahiring in Etuling the Umanavan with a bahiring in Haripudumai. Other matter Mahate Kamuna metane at Mahana in the Kamati. I think if Baba had the correct command name, he had to gain the pull and power again. Sad the Hunata command. Mamma William Banner to Kino and he shoved only the Alimatame get him a kidney. We are meeting a killer than the ten neck I got a quitter. The harm drunk a banahan and kill a tadding, Alimati but Munarisha de Cout Kay, I eat a guinea under Barry Macarine, make a tamai. The West said that we had to take a experience in our summer. West South think on the Pinda party. Mamma Balagin in a West in a calmatator, the Ambana Kailave, then the Pulva. A pimi yatar thing. Midden ni ani ni apa ingat ni? Ini midden ni ani keng, thamang dhanne mana tu? Muka dek pa pa dem keng khati panih nawa lagi. Orang pisar pudi kali kian ni khati panih nawa ngadu. Iskole miskaran nawa lagi. Eh, mana misun miskaran dekio ting? Thamanta meke mana ada me 
ඒ අවස්ථාවේ ඉන්නේ හිත දිනු කරගන්න. ඉතින් අද අර වාහනේන මහත්තයා ඉතින් දැන් මට ඒක සේම් රුටින් එක එන්න බලනවා. හම්දුනේ පොඩි කරුණු ටික යවට කමක් නැද්ද? අද නම් මම මහත්තයා ටික මහත්තයෝ මහත්තයෝ මේ මට තිනාත් ගියා මොකද දැන් ඒක සේම් රුටින් ඒ අර තනියම දැන් කාර් එක යන වෙලාවේ ඔක්කොම පව හොඳ කට්ටිය කරන ධර්මය ඉක්මන් ටික්මට ගන්න යන ආසාවෙන් ඉන්න කට්ටියක් හොඳ කට්ටියක් ඇත්තට මේ පිංවතුන්ලා ඒ කණ්ඩායමක් කිටි නැත්තම් මට මේ ගමන මට තේරෙනවා ලිසි නෑ ගෙනියන්න බෑ ඒක අහසෙයි පොළොවෙයි දෙගොල්ලගෙම දෙක පැත්තකම ඒ කට්ටියක් නැත්තම් ඒ ශ්‍රද්ධාව තියෙන ඒ ගුණ වඩාගෙන මොකද සමා කළාට මේක ටියක් පොඩි විප්ලයක් වගේ ඒ ඒ යම් පරිවර්තනයක් ඒ මොකද ඒක මට තේරෙනවා ඒක යම් පුණ්‍ය බලයක් ඒ ශක්තියක් නැත්තම් අර ඒ අර මේක කාගෙන යන්න මොකද ඒක ඉතින් ආන්දෝලනයක් ඇති කරනවනේ දැන් චුට්ට චුට්ට ආන්දෝලනයක් තාම නෑ කල් යද්දි ටියක් ඒක මේ ඉතින් මාරක පැත්තට වැටෙන දේවල් එන්න පුළුවන් අර පැත්තට වැටෙන කරුණාව දයාව ඒවා තියෙන පැත්තෙන් එන්න පුළුවන් දෙ ඒ පැත්තට බරලා තිබ්බොත් මේක යනවා අනිත් පැත්තට බර වුණාම විනාශ කරන්න ඉතින් මේවා අපි දකින්න අපේ පාරමිතා තියෙන කල් තමයි මේ කටයුත්ත ඒක ඉතින් හැම්බෙලේම ගුණයක් තියලා ඒ මොන හරි ආවත් ගුණයක් තියලා මේ පොළොවේ යන්න ඕනේ මේ පොළොවෙන් නික්ම එන්න ඕනේ කොටත කඩ සදහට කට්ටියට මොන හේතුවකටවත් ද්වේෂයක් මේකක් එන්න දෙන්නේ නැතුව කිසිම හේතුවකට ඒ කියන්නේ පෙති ගහලා දැම්මත් මෙයා වුණත් තමන් නිවනට පැත් තියලා මම කියලා ගන්නේ නැතුව සිසිම විදියකින් සාධාරණය කරන්න නැතුව කාගත වැරදියක් හිතෙන්නවත් කල්පනා වෙන්නවත් ඉතින් ඔය පැත්ත අපි කරොත් තමයි මේ බුද්ධ සසුනට චෛත්‍යවල හදලා ගොඩාක් මහා විහාර හදලා නෙමෙයි පිංවතුනි මේක තමයි චෛත්‍ය අපේ ගුණයක් මතු කරගත්තොත් ඉතින් කොහොම හරි මම මේ මහත්තයා මේ කවුද මේ මහත්තයා ද ඇහුවා මගෙන් ස්වාමි මහන්සේ මට දැන් මං බහන වෙන්න බලාපොරොත්තු ඒ ඉතින් ආර්ථික පැත්තෙන් ගැටලුවක් නෑ ළමයි දෙන්නෙක් කිල්නා ඒගොල්ලන්වත් ටියක් මේවා කරලා තමයි කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා කිව්වා ඉතින් ඒ මහත්තයා දැන් මහත් විතරනේ මං දකිනවා ගොඩක් අය අදහස හිතනවා මේ දැන් අවුරු මහන වෙලා කියන්නේ දැන් ඒගොල්ලන් හිතනවා දැන් තව ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකක් කරනවා අවුරුදු තව දහයකට ද පහකටද ඒ ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකෙන් පස්සේ තවත් එතකොට තමයි හොඳටම නිදහස් වෙලා යන්න පුළුවන් කියලා කිව්වේ ඉතින් හාමුදුරු මොකද්ද මේ ගැන කියන්නේ කියලා ඉතින් මම දන්න විදියට මහ පින්වතුනි ඒ කියන්නේ බාහිරෙන් සෙටල්මන්ට් එකක් කරලා ඒ කියන්නේ මේක අභ්‍යන්තර දෙයක් තමන්ගේ අභ්‍යන්තරයේ යම් විදියකින් මහනකම කරන්න ඕනේ මේ දැන් මේ ඉන්න වෙලාවේ ඒ කියන්නේ මහන මනස වඩන්න ඕනේ තමන්ට ඉන්න බැරි නෝන කෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා නෑ එක්කෝ එපා වෙච්ච මහත්තයෙක් ඉන්නවා නෑ එක්කෝ මොන හරි වටපිට ඒක නැති වෙන්න ඕනේ හිතෙන් තමන්ට ඉන්න දරන්න බැරි දෙයක් තමන්ට ඒ කියන්නේ වැඩ කරන රස්සාව වෙන්න පුළුවන් දැන් එපා වෙලා තියෙන රස්සාව ගානක් නැතුව යන ප්‍රැක්ටිස් එකක් තියෙනවා ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් රස්සාවට වාහන වලින් යන්න වෙන්න පුළුවන් මහන්සිලා හැබැයි යන ගමන් හිතේ ශාන්තිය තියලා ඒ ලෝකේ අරින්න ඕනේ මං ඒකට දැන් අර ගොඩාක් කියුණා ඒ කියන්නේ අර මයින්ඩ් එකේ මොලේ රෙස්ට් වෙන තැම්පත් වෙන සනීපයක් වෙන පැත්ත අවදි කරන්න ඕනේ මේක අපේ කෙරෙනවා අඩුයි දැන් අද මාව බස මහත් ඉන්නවද කෝ යගියද ආ හෙට එනවා කෝ ලියෝ පූල් දෙක වෙනවා ආ හරි හරි ඔව් ඒ මහ දැන් ඒ මහත්ය ට්‍රයි කරන්නේ දැන් අදත් ඒ කියන්නේ මට තේරෙනවා යා ඒ රිලැක්ස් වෙන පැත්තට ඇඟ හරු හරුව ගියා දැන් මට ඒක ලොකු සතුටක් මේ මං ගත්ත මහන්සියට මේ වට කියනවා පොඩ්ඩ පොඩ්ඩ කියන ඉරියා පතේ කියලා මේ පොඩි පොඩි ටෙක්නික්ස් ඒ කියන්නේ සමාධියට එන පැත්ත මේ සමාධියට එන පැත්ත තමයි එහෙම ගියොත් ස්ට්‍රෙස් එන්නේ නැහැ මා පින් අතනි ඉතින් සමාධියක් කොච්චරම ඕනෙත් නෑ අපිට සමාධියක් වගේ මහන්සි නැතුව එළවනකොට සමාධියට වැටුණොත් ඇක්සිඩෙන්ට් වෙන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි කොහොම හරි අරම හරි ස්ට්‍රෙස් එකක් නැතුව යන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්න ඒ තරමට හරි හරි දේ කරලා තියෙනවා ඒ කියන්නේ මේ වර්තමාන මොහොතට එටෙන්ෂන් එක දදා ඇවිල්ලා තියෙනවා ඉතින් ආ දන්නවා යට අර අහලා තියෙනවා ඒ මහත්තයට අර ස්ටීරින් වෙල් එක අල්ලන් ඉන්න හැටි ෆීල් වෙන්න ඕනේ ඒ කියන්නේ ඊට පස්සේ ඉඳන් ඉන්න හැටි ඉඳන් ඉන්න මේ මොනාද මේ සීට් එක එහෙම ඇඟ ගැන ඇඟ ගැන බලලා ඇඟට සනීපයක් එන පැත්තට ඉඳගෙන යන්න ඕනේ 
ඒ කියන්නේ එහෙම ඒ ඒ මොහොත හොඳට ෆීල් වෙනකොට ඒ මොහොතෙම ටික ඉන්නකොට පින් ඔතන ඒක කමට හැනක් වෙනවා අනාපනසතියට යන දිස්ල ඔතන අනාපනසතිය වෙන්න ඕනේ ඒ ස්ටියරිං වීල් එක ඒ කරන වැඩි ඒතර කරන වැඩි තවත් හොඳට කෙරෙනවා අරව දාන්නේ නැහැ දැන් මොන හරි දැන් හදිසියේ මට ටිකක් මතක් කරන්න හිතද යන ගමන් කේ කේ අයට බණින්න දැන් ඕක එක ස්ටෙප් එක අනිත් එක තමයි එක එක තිතුලි එන්න පුළුවන් මොකද අපේ සිත තාම ලෙඩ පින් ඔතුනි ලෙඩ හින්දා එන්න පුළුවන් කවුරු හරි වැරදි කරපු ඒවා එන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි මේවා මං අර පස්සේ තේරුම් කරා මේ ඇතුලේ තියෙන එක තමයි එළියෙන් රිෆ්ලෙක්ට් වෙන්නේ ඒ කියන්නේ අපේ ගතිය තමයි එළියෙන් මතු වෙලා එන්නේ පින් ඔතුනි කේන් තියෙන ගතිය හරි දැන් අර කවු හරි මොන හරි එයාගේ අඩුපාඩුවක් ඉතින් අර යන ගමන් හිතෙන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි දකින්න ඕනේ මට මෙහෙම හිතෙන්න මගේ හිත ලෙඩයි කියලා එතකොට මේ ලෙඩ සිත කාකෙරිවත් මට සිතුවිල්ලකින්වත් මෙහෙම වෙනසක් කරන්න බෑ මේක මංට වැරදි තැන ගිය තැනක් ඉතින් මම මේ ලෙඩේ නැති කරගන්න ඕනේ පොඩ්ඩක් මේ මස් කෑල්ලක් තියෙන්නේ මේ ඇතුලේ තියෙන ද්වේෂය අනුසය තියෙන ස්වභාවය තමයි මේ සිතුවිලි වලින් මේවා කරන්නේ කියලා මං දැන් ඒක මං කර කරා ඒක මං කිව්වේ මට පොඩි දෙයක් ආව ඉතින් එක වෙලා එක තැනකදී මේ මොකද මේ ප්‍රැක්ටිසස් වෙන්න ඕනේ පින් ඔතනේ මොකද අපි මේ සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම හිත සුවපත් පිරිසුදු වේවි යනකොට එතකොට තමයි නියම සතුට එන්නේ ඇතුලෙන් සතුට එන්නේ නැත්තං අපේ ඇතුලේ සතුටක් එන් නැති වෙනවා පින් ඔතනේ අපි ඒ කියන්නේ අර සත්ව සතුට ඒනේන මොහොතට අපි මේ මොනාද එහෙම අපි ගියොතින් අපේ අර මේ මොකද්ද අපි නියම සතුටක් වෙන්නේ නෑ පින් ඔතනේ අපි දූනව 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 වෙනවා හිත එන්ඩ එන්ඩ දුර්වල වෙනවා දුර්වල වෙනවා අර මහන්සි සිත වැඩි වෙනවා ඒතර කේන්ති යනවා ඊර්ෂ්‍යා වෙනවා මනසේ මේක ඒතර පස්සේ ලොකුවටම වෙනවා නින්ද යන්නේ නෑ ඉතින් මේ කේක ඉතින් මම පැති දෙක තුනක් කියනවා සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ඉතින් මාර මහත් යට කිව්වා අර විදියට මහත්තයෝ ඔය ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එකට දැන් මෙහෙම ඉන්න ගමන් ප්‍රැක්ටිස් එක මහත්තයට ඉන්න ගමන් උදේට මෙවා කරලා තව මෙහෙම දැන් මම කියපු සමහ කොටස් තියෙනවා අර බ්‍රහ්මචාරිය රකින හැටි ඒවල අඩුපාඩු පර්වර්ෂන්ස් එක එක ඒවා නැති කරගන්න හැටි දැන් මේව ඔක්කොම අර සමාධියට එරෙහිව යන එකක් මං අර කියුවනේ රෙප්ටීලියම් බ්‍රේන් එක වෙද රෙප්ටීලියම් බ්‍රේන් ඉස් වර්කින් වෙරි මච් and there this particular activities are draining your energy and when it is draining your energy this is first step to, to free yourself from stress it's not that you know that only meditation you have to do before that you must see now these things that you drain your energy you do these things hidden hangila karaneva deva kavurut kiyanne ping odani නැත් මේක අපේ ජීවිතේ හැංගිලා වෙන හැම එකකද මේ ලොකු ඩ්‍රේන් එනර්ජි ලොස් එකක් තියෙනවා ඉතින් මං ඒවා මේ අද අලුත් අය ගොඩක් ඉන්නවද කොහොමද පොඩක් අතු සම්පලද ලාවට සෑන්නේ මේ බාගිට බාගි වගේනේ ඉත යූටියුබ් එකේ හැම බලපු අය තියෙනවද කට්ටිය මම කරුණු කියපු ඒවා මට හරි බෝරින් ඒවා අය අයි කියන්න කොහොමද බලපු අය කීප දෙන්නෙද්ද අතේ සුවත් පොඩ්ඩයිනේ <laughs> so you know i explain the ways you drain your energy now if you have bad now for example if you're a drunkard you're drinking all the time and say will you be efficient in any work no you'll be draining a lot of energy and all the money you'll be also thinking to spend on that so when you are a drunkard also when you are losing so much you know like like drinking you have so many other forms of addiction today there are so many other forms of addiction and especially with sexual activity today this is a main main drainage of drain of energy because it goes to perversion there's no training there's no education there's no studies done explaining this matter this is also kept in the western world they call it biological need <laughs> they simply give a word for it and say this is a, just a biological need you have to do like that but my friends you get all the psychological problems from that it starts from anything that we do anything that is it has not its if um, the purpose So actually the ideal state is just the creation of a child this purpose this mukhyam but any other indulgence other than that there is a damage there is a danger 
not the danger there is not there so now this is what i call from from the age of 14 today where we are going schools where the schooling and all that this knowledge i wish someone told me i was in south africa i was brought up there in southern part and in, the, in those schools you know the international schools there they were so bad but luckily i was certain shyness um the reason is shyness shyness saved me no every uh, friday there is a disco college disco so all the students go there and um, i would have been, i also would have i would have been the first person who like to go there but just to ask the money from my father i was shy because he would wonder what am i up to to go to i mean because i knew what my friends used to come and say what they did so anyway because of that shyness it protected me from going i mean i would have now if i went like that today i can't be a monk impossible there are monks i meet in sri lanka from other countries who have ordain foreign countries i can see how much suffering they are struggling that uh, you know they are trying to meditate not possible they have done this that that is karma so much memories this party that party there's no end i can understand that because i was in that atmosphere one when i was brought up but luckily i didn't go to any of those if i did go <laughs> finish you know i would have not have an idea of uh, the animal brain would have been activated so much so normally i touch this topic is very important now even if you're married that is another place that is like becoming a monk i explain all the time meka therna danne man bandala hitiya mahanuna wage kela man therun karna That means, even if you end up being with me, may I will carry that with me? May I get happy? Happy time in a life thing? One pradhan me varadi vada vuna ma meka matte terne dharma anu me manase e avashya karna pavitra bhave tempat bhave ne nimanak dakinde. Thing na tha api ova karle kapadam sati sati ke lagya the man mangita ne being with me. E kara skruti ma sati akve na. So. ඒ විතරක් නෙමෙයි ණය බේරන්නේ නැතුව හිමීට කාටවත් ඒක නීති අනුව ගැටලුවක් නැහැ හැබැයි හැම මිනිස්සුන්ට වේදනාවක් දෙනවා දැන් ඔය ඔය ඔක්කොම ඔය ඔක්කොම හෘද සාක්ෂියට මෙයා වෙලා ඒක තමයි නිකන් යටපත් කරන් යනවා ඒවත් බ්ලොක් කරනවා පින් වතුනි ඊවන් ඉනෝ පින් හැව් ටු ප්ලේ ලෝන්ස් ඇන්ඩ් තින්ග්ස් ලයි දැට් ඇයි රිමෙම්බර් වන් මොන්ක් යු නෝ නව් වි හැව් අ වේ වෙන් වි ආ ඕඩේනින් සම්වන් we you have to, the buddha has told us a way how to check whether is suitable for ordination now this checking is to know the psychological preparation for it whether he is really fit for going and it shows whether he is free from karma gross karma so now nobody really considers that one is the blessings of the parents now if you are married to get permission from who you were married permission means if they agree and they are happy with what you are doing that shows you have good supportive karma and now even this program if you have to now if you have come alone without your husband or whatever in case your husband told you no why are you going all the time there are some ladies they face this you all now they think like you know they are so blindly following all these um, spiritual things so they also right in a way they have a balancing effect but suddenly they tell you you know if you have to argue with him and all, and then come that shows the level of karma you are having and if you come you'll find if you are really observant that the what you expected by going there much as what you want to really experience you will not experience it if you are really honestly watching yourself you see when some when he has told you to go and then you go you find it you'll see how it is related so this is with your parents also if you you know so every decision i mean how to understand the karmic terrain yeah this is important you know so parents are very important you know like you have to now you have to learn to get their blessings always not to hurt them harm them they are the most sincere people hmm? and if you're married with your husband how bad he is how whatever way that doesn't matter that is you are not getting that by chance you know that it's coming as a lesson for you to improve your soul to improve your uh, what is lacking in you so that may be patience forgiving 
and also to not to sort of you know score with inside you now you may sort of you know not score because of fear but inside you're hurt hurt like you're feeling hurt and that is also you have to remove that now there's a technique from the dhamma how to do that now in most of my programs some of them now in the end i normally take the original deshana sutta and how to apply it to your practical life because this is very practical just to see it from that angle and when you see it from that angle you will not see that this is my husband this is my wife this is my mother you will see dhamma actually it makes you to see that these experiences are empty that is the actual picture if you don't re- but it needs a type of reflection and a kind of way of observing to notice that just at face value like this it is not seen it's not possible it use you look all really real but um, say for example one hour ago or two hours ago d- d- what did you see me seated here or one hour when you came here how did you see it can you picture that picture there was this they were have been arranging and things like that right now can you really picture it really hold on to that memory when you hold on to that memory do you have that memory now that picture now no can you see like it was like now what you are seeing immediately me one time it it was similar like this can you remember that me dakka wage kila matak wenawa balanno ne eda e welawe mohote dakapu eka e wage me atta wage tibba neda then look at what happened then what happened now it doesn't look very real it just it's form of a memory so do you think the same thing will happen to this experience you are going through right you have to think like that then you don't hold on to this very much you understand you are not going to be buffed by this particular or tricked by this particular experience so this needs a special part of your brain of analyzing and seeing that this is a dream hmm? so this not just few minutes doing like that is first start a starter but you have to repeat these things and really study this again and again then it opens up and then it will create a vision of reality if you do it much eka sati sampajanne kila kena oka ayi nitharama eva eva den e karana krama buddha gives you know there are then this leads to nibbana actually until you really study and analyze the experiences you have gone through and seen the i mean uh, you know because that will make you see the vanity and the unrealness of what you have gone through and that will make you distance from the experiences so to come to that i'm only telling sometimes the ground work if you have lot of disturbance in the mind you can't sustain your attention for long period you're tired you want to go to another thing you want to go to another thing and peace becomes a, like a, a horror you want to be to have no peace is really peace like many people in the war you know war zone they they are telling now we want peace accord everything they only telling subconsciously they are waiting for war to take place when there's war they are adrenaline is rushing and they are happy with that so when they train because they have learned to delight uh, you know war otherwise you can't be a soldier so the other way when you train so very important thing i want to uh, give you some points um so normally in your relationships with people and if you can use these techniques of seeing really you know when someone is shouting at in your office or your workplace or any you know when you are where you are living you can this you should be able to overcome it now, not to react you don't if you don't feel you will not react but if you feel you will react for sure so you have to think of these things to an extent where you can really react back where um, not to react react in a way that you don't react now i did these things when now one thing i must know do you know anything what do you, uh, the people who are now here um, what have you heard about me 
that go to the Himalayas who are just today seeing me. And did you ever hear anything else? You might think that I had just come in a, like a joy journey here. This is very important. I don't know why, I don't know, maybe you just come, you know, like you get to know there's a program. So I had to always remind this, actually, because you might think, you know, the, the, in 2000, when I was a young monk, when at the age of 28, this is the first time I was invited to come to States that time. So I told those people, he was working in the World Bank or somewhere, I told him, when I am an Arhant only, I want to come. Now, the leave alone the word Arahant, actually I was really thinking when I don't get angry and don't feel lustful or greedy or don't have any idea of ego, then only I, I would like to come. With this still I am having in my mind, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to go like that when I am still myself not perfect. So I was not joking about that, I was really serious about it. So all these years then I was practicing. I had a very inspiring teacher, it first started in South Africa. Then I met this German teacher. He directed me to the original sutras, how to practice it and do it like the same time of, like the same period of the Buddha's time. He was showing that example because I used to go walking, wandering, stay night time in temples. And through my Archie, my grandma only, I met him when we, when we came to Sri Lanka for a holiday. So after that, um, uh, anyway, I will sh slowly cut short the whole thing. He he uh, he inspired me a lot, so he also passed away, and then I uh, I was in the Himalayas. I used to go to the special part of Himalayas from 2009, Kailash, Mansarova. Where you heard about that area? You have to go from Tibet. So this area I was going, and 2000. Now we know it's a very common thing, altitude sickness. Have you heard of this? Uh, altitude sickness, that no there. That is in high altitude, lack of oxygen, your whole system, you know, gets disturbed. And normally you can even go to a coma and there's no medicine for that. Really, you have to just go to a low altitude. So 2000, I have got it slightly here and there, time to time. But 2013, no, 14, I really got this. My guide and uh, the driver, you know, they, they also didn't know what to do. And I was all blue. Luckily, I, I didn't get it to the, my lungs, but a splitting headache and all blue. And I am, uh, and then we came to this lake, Mansarova. And in near this near this lake, I was well. Um, then that night, also very tough. I was not sure whether I could make it. So that one time, we have a meditation where we prepare to face death. That I have, we. I mean, this I started to practice from 2004. In the jungle, certain experience I went through that helped me to overcome it and then after that daily I was practicing this and this practice I was about to start because I don't know whether I could make this th that particular night and the first thought came before that that I could share enough with the people now the thing is all these years I was avoiding people a lot of course 2012 I came to the public also in Sri Lanka then these crowds were coming from all over and then, but still I didn't fully go. I used to come, go back again and then come for a few programs, then go back like that. It was happening. So then 2014, um, I had this after that. I just first thought came, I couldn't share enough with the people. Now can't help it. This is what I told myself. And then, well, can't help it. And then I start to focus on the watching the present moment and contemplating. So these are the ones I want, these are the things I want to teach actually, but I had no opportunity. How to face death and all these things. Then anyway, I made it. I tell it short way. But 2015, it was something. Uh, um, I, it was like a no return thing happened. Same, uh, uh, that same area. And there I was, uh, same thought came, the last moment that uh, I couldn't do enough to the people that can't help it now. So, and, but then, I don't know, that's, I would say after that period, this you're seeing a ghost. 
<laughs> and I appreciate every moment I am traveling like that. That's why sometimes any, I don't want to dilly-dally anything, but I'm so happy after this trip also that now I don't think I'll get that thought <laughs> that I couldn't do enough to the people. Uh, I'm, so maybe the organizers can be very happy. They have, they have fulfilled one, some, uh, completed some part of uh, my uh, destiny. And anyway, uh, I took time to recover. I was in Kathmandu. They brought me to from Lhasa to Kathmandu. And from Kathmandu there, it took three months, not three months, like so much weakness in the body. And something else also happened in addition to that, just after that, which I got to know like, all this was like the Mara giving a direct blow. I mean, you would not expect, experience this particular thing. I thought I was very strong. So something else happened which I can't tell anyone except some senior, my gurus or uh, monks. Like a uh, situation where my robes were like almost, I was disrobed. There also I learned a very big lesson. Like what I cherish so much, it was all like shattered in a moment. Maybe my meditation, maybe my, uh, what is this, uh, virtue and all these things. And there, just to survive, I had to think of something. And that was the only thing to think, is to see exactly what happened. That I just told myself, don't, now, the word personalize is not strong to convey this word, me at this, this effect. So I coined, I used another new word, but it's not proper English. I told it, I told myself that um, don't egolize it. <laughs> Just to give an idea, don't solidify it, in other words. Don't solidify this problem. This is not a problem. It is, I mean, this is, data I know, there are signs of success. When you're having great crisis, it, when you're very close to some, like in Raga, you know, when you're coming to the try line, all the tackles, you know, come around, they sort of uh, tackle you and this thing. So same way, all the problems come one after the other when you're very close to something. When gems are near you. It's true, I did experience that. So anyway, it told to myself, don't egolize this, let it pass away. And uh, let me, what is this, uh, this is just a happening. That's another thing I told myself. This is just a phenomenon, a happening. Nobody did anything to me and there's nobody to experience. Just a happening. Let it pass away. And when I continued like that, I learned a big lesson from that. So I must tell you, this meeting, I'm a little bit this thing because uh, for you all to have no idea <coughs> from what background I was coming. So that, now even if the Buddha comes and tells me, don't go, I will be going because I have to <laughs> teach you all or give you some. Uh, so the thing is, I was expecting too much for a certain perfection. Like if you're studying for your PhD, you can teach something from your masters, isn't it? <laughs> so I didn't think like that, but now I have come to the senses of that. But, uh, but my friends, I must tell you, if you all are meeting me also, I hope, you know, it should give you some strength to really make a turn in your, a change in your life. If it doesn't, I would say that uh, uh, it's not possible. You will have to change. You will have to practice something. You will have to change from your weakness, some weaknesses you are having. This must, this will happen. So, uh, this is very important. I just want to give you some idea. Mm. And you must say that if I, I don't remember it, just to tell you all, I will tell about, uh, remember about that. I don't sort of ponder about that. That's not in me. There's that idea that when you go back to things, my friends, that's because we are untrained mind. We can keep on pondering and we can keep on expecting some things we didn't achieve. There's nothing to achieve except not to expect anything. <laughs> to have that mentality, that's the only thing we can achieve. So, if you have this mentality, you will not cling to anything negative in the past. You will continue. And you must know that all these... Now, look at Angulimala. He was a murderer, serial killer, you could call him. He did all these things. Then what? Just imagine, even say he didn't meet the Buddha or anything and he stopped doing that. Just, he will be a normal person. One thing, he might be put into jail. Other thing, he will be so remorseful. Right? He... A normal person, he will. if he was doing like that, say Prabhakan, say you caught him 
and you put him into jail. Surely he'll be remorseful if he has some heart in left. And uh, other thing, he will go to hell with that karma. Now just imagine, none of that happened. Just meeting a master and he made you to see the truth. And then did he start to identify with those things? No. He realized who he was really. He realized who did those things was really not him. Now this is another important, I see an important practice. If you have some depression, some worry, some fear about life, you must put back, you, can, you must see really, is it really me? I mean, you might think I have heard the banner everywhere but myself. Why should I? No, do, do, if you do this exercise now properly, you'll find that with any kind of trouble you had or distress, you will lose it immediately. Now in Singapore airport, I remember I was there and that's one gentleman, he was also going to Australia from Sri Lanka. And he was like in a state of depression. I, I felt it. And then uh, he said, so then he also thought maybe he could get some knowledge from me. <coughs> that Bhante, I said, are you in a sort of a sad situation now? He said, yes, Bhante, yes. Uh, I mean, my parents died and uh, I have no particular... Uh, well, I, other thing is I just went to visit, uh, the, I mean, my relations. And my relations are trying to get property and all that. And I was so, so was a disillusioned to see that they are interested in those things and not, uh, and like I'm left alone now. Well, I said, yes, right, this is happening in the world. But do you see me, I said. What do you see? Do you see me now? He said, yes, Bhante, I, I see you. And I said, well, do you feel the heaviness in your feet? Do you feel your standing? Then he said, yes, Bhante, I could feel that. And these thoughts, all that is past. It's like you're bringing certain thoughts into there. And um, I mean, they don't exist now. You're just bringing it. You can also do something where you don't bring it in. You just make make sure you notice what you are now experiencing. Where you're standing and you're seeing me. And when you was trying that, I could see there was a lightning up in his thing. Now suddenly he got to know uh, the idea that the problem is something separate. There is a state of mind where there is no problem. And he did, he was doing that and I was so happy. He was like, you know, at least he got a simple idea that, you know, these problems are not you. You have wrongly identified your feeling. Now I am getting a full picture of this. You know, how you are identifying the dimension of problem as you. This is your wrong, unenlightened mind, you know, you are sort of going into garbage. And it's up to you not to go into the garbage and not to pay attention and be with the lotus. <laughs> the lotus mind. So that needs a certain reminder. You must tell, you have to tell, sort of, a little bit investigate because this is not something you can imagine. This is what really goes on and you have to place certain attention to notice what is really going on. So this little bit mindfulness, now you must feel, now maybe you feel tired or something or you feel the cold or you feel, uh, just feel that very much, then you are coming closer to the place of observation. Even if you do that much even, you will be gathering energy. You will have, you will lose all mental worry. And when the mind is freeing from worry and stress, your body, body will get energized. Now the sicknesses of body also have arisen by some kind of weakening of your mind. Now when you go in the direction of strengthening your mind, surely you will be gaining, I think you will be opening up pharmacies in your body <laughs> if you are sick. Because to the levels of tranquility you are gaining in the mind, you will be creating certain hormones in your system, which, will, which no medicine, no laboratory can create actually. Your immune system and inside you, there are abilities of making certain now normally I know in meditation and certain next call something called ojas, tejas. If that happens very much, you know, you will you will have a very special type of body also. Normally who develops this very much, they get this shine. Now even who are going for this, what is this uh, beauty, you know, uh, modeling and all that, they do yoga. Just they know that that inner charm, it's another attraction, that's the main one. 
that uh, you know makes the judges notice <coughs> so if you actually get that particular inner peace more and more for that much time i mean the other way round i explain this very often especially for younger people also i don't know uh i get so bored to talk about it again and again <laughs> so one thing i must just finish this off in a way just how you don't ed- sort of um, identify with you must begin to notice who you are where you are if you get a thought whether the thought is you you can know immediately the thought comes and goes it's like a screen you know we have the brain the screen and then we have the projector which with the light it creates all this normally the memories are about what you have seen and heard right it's not you don't normally remember an empty things very rarely we remember what we had greed with which had some greed or anger that what registers very much so you can see that those are normally colors and pictures you don't you don't find someone like you know silent who have insulted you <laughs> or someone actually that is a sound and it gave a perception actually perception that this person you know and then in the buddha's teaching it says is a moment of consciousness you experience in the past and in a moment of consciousness you have these factors of consciousness where you feel you perceive and if you perceive it as pleasant you react with anger also irritation and hurt or whatever if you perceive it as pleasant you react with greed you want to hear further <laughs> or you want to remember what you this thing so these are all your you know inclining your that is mano karma it is said so this is we are always doing this in our life now they are mostly with what you have seen heard and felt you know these are with the five senses so this is like now the empty screen is there and the five senses they create the main you could say um, bollywood <laughs> that the main movies are created by that but you know you take away if you can just watch yourself that what you experience then then you have to you know those films you know start they just stop one movie came and another one came like you experience one time one period of your life so many activities connected with children then with uh, later on now maybe grandchildren <laughs> something some drama and if it came, it, any kind of memory you are having you must know that these things that registered in your blank mind blank mind is like that particular you know in a that uh, white this thing that the light falls into and there you should know you, if you can sort of rethink and sort of remind these things what you have seen is something past and gone and was it me but do you get the feeling of me without that experience do you e addakim natuwa mama kiyana hangi menawada mama kiyala deyak me his tanakata hitata enawada ne ne etakota ara mama kiyana adahasa aaveda the idea of i came associating those particular something I, someone did i experienced it these are the feelings perceptions you think is me but they had a rising and passing a way now if they rose and pass away there and then then you also was born and you also died there at that time <coughs> yeah they then that is really you can see when that time it was coming and going such what you you can't be something changing from one to the other this must be some kind of horamini ekwenda din it can like uh, what is this are catap caterpillar ne caterpillar tar not caterpillar or camouflage karane ka the katusa ne what do you call it caterpillar no katusa what do you call it in english i forget the english words now lizard. Huh? Lizard. a lizard no but a type of lizard there are so many varieties of lizard okay yeah you have they change their color so life is also like i mean these perceptions if they change their form and you think this is me something you can't be changing all the time so you have to look at that and see really nana loka it was not you there was not you there now we say we are buddhist buddhist you know it's no point you know if you identify like that and have grudges with people and memories with people uh, that means we are living in fully mithya ditti 
<laughs> we are a disgrace to this great master so this is very important we are, and also we are you know our mind we will have a long face most of the time because we are thinking our thoughts are very bad very ugly but when we learn to clear like that and not to worry of any situation even if a bomb is put in front of us we see now it we don't die before the bomb goes off by worrying about it <laughs> we can we now mostly that's what happening the moment of death is such a minute or so not a minute even mini second maybe but we die so much thinking worrying about it so if you know and you remain in the present moment and sort of uh, if this practice is done you find so much peace is coming and so much worries just disappear and you are free from worry means you are already like a deva brahma because if you die like that you go to a good place that means a place free from worry i mean you can know where you have been reborn next time the way you live now there's no big difference if you are living worried and this thing you think after death you will no you get a worse place if you die like that but if you are not worried now unconcerned you are already reaching your consciousness is reaching a higher plane higher kind of and if that happens you are already you don't need you are doing other work the worldly work but without the sufferings of it do out of you know duty without the worry the problems connected with that so that is something our life is complete we use this life as a vessel for us to develop this higher consciousness more and more i always i normally i explain this like in your life sometimes we have we put our life into mud and then we put our life in, sometimes we wash our life like coming here okay we do good things which are connected with meditation or dhamma or something so when we are doing the negative things sometimes we have two parts in our life the black and the white like so when we suddenly put ourselves in the negative way that means what it is connected with lot of greed hate or delusion normally we do these things hidden because society also don't is we feel shy to do these sinful things so we do it hidden when we are doing something like that hidden that vibration that we emanate the similar vibration the dimensions that are there they get open up and there are beings in those dimensions they enter our body so we can know whether they have entered when we find that we get a driving force to do something negative suddenly so today normally suddenly we feel like going to the bar we feel like going to some negative thing now i don't know in this area somewhere we feel driven definitely those negative forces are we call it bhut prat you know they are in our system so now today we don't need even externally to go some places today we have the computer very easily we have access we have access for the five senses the it's called information technology where this particular higher pitch of emotions are activated in the mind where it opens those dimensions very much i will explain very well this and you can find scientific you know like the mri scan showing the brain function while you are this thing is very interesting so uh when you know that there are these negative forces that are you know you might have noticed that you suddenly see oh my god i am uncontrolled i am doing this when you feel like that when you know that this is happening and they will destroy you because they will take you again and again to meet those bad friends or you know do those bad things or look at the certain bad things when you're doing like that you are really they are like vampires take sucking your uh vitality the energy and you'll become ugly also because your personality is destroyed when you have a shady character now if when there is this part now i'm telling when you have you will be having this this is happening to mainly good people it's like a certain nature demonic forces they try to stop the persons who are really trying to who have the potential of being great people now you must not think that this happening to someone really bad i will explain in a way so when you know there are these things in suddenly temptations come to this you must know there's definitely this force and you can keep away from that so the second day third day when you manage to keep away those forces don't get nourishment now when i explain like this in melbourne i remember one some young gentleman 
so he was telling then he got to know when he was in melbourne city how he was suddenly feel distracted to do something then he remembered oh bante told there are bhutas and uh, d- uh, invisible spirits that uh, then he un- he noticed that and he stopped doing that that was the, my first period when i was discoursing on this so when um when you recognize this then when you can keep away one day two days three days then it is like you're patching up certain holes that you have made in your character charite hatikaragata hill eva vahanda patangana then you create the foundation a strong foundation slowly slowly so after one week two weeks when you do like that those beings don't get nourishment they'll have to leave the system and another thing is you open up now you be if you can do when you're doing that you will become you are reserving energy and you will get more interested to do the spiritual things or uh, i mean deeper things not animalistic uh, you know inclinations but to think to understand what is life and to sort of pursue good things you get energy and your personality becomes a more you know wholesome people otherwise other way you might think you have a bath and come you don't get clean you become like a clown then you'll have to show your visiting card or some explanation of uh, you know about what you are to get respect from people the charm you lose now in in this part of the world very important to be looking nice right because <laughs> we can really get super niceness if you don't if you can really practice buddhism <laughs> i i was uh, once there was this please remind me right this way i stopped in case i had to i had to explain something I just quickly go to this story i remember in birmingham <laughs> we are in birmingham right <laughs> okay this in birmingham it's supposed to be that one gent- one boy uh, he was giving a talk how he became a buddhist he was from he is a local person so he um, when he was giving this talk he he has said what uh, no he was telling uh, even when he was a young boy he was attracted to buddhism how his parents have a shop you know in birmingham <laughs> and which part and then a boutique or store or something grocery and there was one lady she noticed always a asian lady who is to come and get she seemed to be not having much money you know the poor she comes and buys small things and go but she looks so happy so one day she asked the mother uh, amma uh, mom uh, who is that lady said uh, well she is a sri lankan and then um, why is she so happy i always see her always happy you know that and she said because she is a buddhist <laughs> just imagine yeah this uh, i mean really if we can practice these things i don't know maybe she is practicing <laughs> someone who practice like that we can make a big like we can be like a mirror to the world it's not by telling we are buddhist or anything and getting angry with people <laughs> and, and then, so not to disgrace this religion you know in any form <laughs> you know this name yusuf right you hear in this people when you hear the name yusuf what do you feel sorry ah yusuf <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> a cricketer right okay from pakistan or somewhere right all right but normally you th- you think suddenly this person is what muslim right that name is given to a muslim so this name i will tell you it's a nice enlightening very new thing you'll all hear because uh, yusuf is the name of a certain prophet in their religion they believe now this same prophet is shared in the old testament in the christian religion they call him joseph prophet joseph have you ever read his story or anything gone through that no and you don't want to also isn't it because he's uh, christian right isn't it i mean komo dite na mata thitena me christiani mukadda me me bible ekak ne mukadda me apita kisi sambandhayak ne that is a story of a bodhisattva you have parts of maushad you have parts of you know my god my mind was you know because i am also attracted not through any form I tell you i don't know whether you know any of my background like you know i came to buddha's teaching through physics but not physics led me to that theory of relativity was something that i was trying to search for the truth so i thought 
the Buddhism I saw my mother practicing, it seems like a religion for me. Yeah. I thought it's another religion. Another, I never felt it was the main thing that will solve my quest. This happened to me when I was 18. It started step by step, 14, 15, 16, but 18. I had this experience on my own in a way of this Anitya nature. But I, it was like, I don't know how to explain this. And I had a vision of a monk. That monks are like this, they are trying to see this truth again and again, and I must be like this. And the purpose of these monks are to get that knowledge. That, that, that is where the immortal state is, in the vision. So, it, for me it is like, you know, this culture, did I give you all five percepts? <laughs> Nothing, right? <It's laughs> did I, did I, did I, I don't do all this, I'm coming straight to the subject. Quickly I'm coming straight to the subject. And I see it's like a mission in myself, but then I will tell you what to find, where the Buddha, what to be done. To the end, I will explain that also. And directly to go, like Buddha, you know, the, the Buddha's teaching to get connected this immediately and to really do the thing so that you get the... It's like a life jacket. It saves you now from the drowning, from the kleshas, defilements. So Joseph is very interesting. You know, I was, my teacher has told me these things. You know how my the German teacher... He used to tell the silk route, say the those literature have come to this part from those areas. It's very it's very logical. Logical means when you read the stories, my God, it's a bodhisattva. And in more detail than the Jataka, you know. I mean the Jataka is there, but here they have and I was just feeling how uh, now because when they do the compassion, the wisdom. How he solves the problem certain at young age. So normally they have interpreted like uh, it's a given the divine, uh, given um, uh, wisdom and knowledge. But it was very interesting. So I'm sure other things also now, even s some people like Francisco of Assisi. But I don't know. Uh, I first also felt that like you're same. Because you don't know something, you feel, you know, you. I, I also done the same mistake. There are some very famous great people. I saw them from far and I thought, why are all these people going? <laughs> but later I was a great admirer of that particular person when I got to know him and got something from him. So sometimes, yeah, this mistake happens in all of us. We make judgments and kind of we might make a lot of sin also by that. So one has to be very careful not to judge. So this, um, in an unorthodox way, so I, I was I was explaining something, right? I told to remind me. Can anyone do? Yeah. Oh, you know all the routine <laughs> discourse. <laughs> you already tell before I tell. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, now I didn't talk about inner charm yet. I told now other way when you do, even if you have a bath, you'll not, you will not, you can't come. You look okay, you dress up, you think you can cover it up. But it will show in your personality. Because certain Bhutas, Pretas, they are clinging to your body. They have experienced certain experiences through your body. So when that is there, you know, it uh, it also creates a kind of, so you'll have to put a lot of, uh, what is this, uh, perfume. To cover because if they are not in present, there will be an unusual smell also going from you in your personality. So that's why I said you become like a clown. You become like a clown, but be, when you're with a lot of clowns, no problem, you can hide there. You can't notice. <laughs> if you're like you now in some people who are coming out of it, they can notice, but normally all together, same, they're doing the same thing. No, so this is a problem also. One way you don't have a proper. Uh, now sometimes who is not a clown looks like a clown from the clowns you know because because they are the vision is from their angle uh, this I have many experiences if I go to stories in my personal life it might take a little long I want to cover some points for young and old everybody something which might help you all to um, so when you get to know like that definitely you will keep away one day two days three days next time you will not you know it starts from small things you go to the breaking of it. So first, if, I mean, it's difficult to, like uh, something that stimulates that particular temptation, even the slightest thing, you must keep away. Hmm? 
maybe something you see something you hear you keep away even from that don't think that okay a little bit little bit like hot then vegetarian unam isara mamala hema what about that they became vegetarian so what happened when during dinner when the dish is brought they will take little bit of the gravy they said no no <laughs> few days they take the gravy and they think no we start we will do it little later now let me eat the chicken <laughs> So like this my friends when you learn to taste a little bit remember that keep away take that smalling small tasting is equal to eating the chicken itself and then you can control your senses if you don't do like that this is a skill this is like in a battleground how you avoid the bullets hmm? so you know already you anticipate exactly where the uh, you know where the enemy you have proper judgment of it So this I will I I tell you some techniques. The Buddha g- explains them. Indriya Sangvara, Iriya Pate. Now Iriya Pate is the one the relaxing one. The Indriya Sangvara is the one I'm talking about. How you anticipate and you don't you don't allow even the slightest thing to enter from your senses, which will stimulate you. You to start from one, two, three, small, small, and then it will go into a bigger this thing. So this is something you you understand and you keep away from these things. And when you do like that. certain tranquility would you will get you will experience certain tranquility coming more in your life when that happens there's something opposite that gets formed in your body also you get charm you get some opposite to now say for example mainly these negative things come with sexual activity or drinking or any other addiction through even computer games i will explain that okay this is a real subject so when this is happening uh, not only games and maybe some other things but i got to know that computer games have this so when this is happening in you when the opposite way when you are not doing and then the inside the another type of hormones get formed now there's no name in the modern medical system but you have it in the ayurveda it's called ojas tejas now that ojas it goes to your brain it goes about um, up and they get deposited in your brain and areas that the brain was not functioning start to work now you create an op- opposite cycle now those deposited unopened parts of your brain when they start to function they like a power brain it starts to create a cycle then it destroys the poisonous part that you already open so when this happens very much there will be a physiological change in your body also you can see a clear change in your aura also in other words you look more handsome more pretty one thing you'll notice there'll be a shine in your forehead i'm sorry the cheeks and the forehead so i normally tell don't lose that shine if you get that so this is something i mean then you don't have to apply what i always tell this nivea and all that <laughs> fair and lovely in sri lanka isn't it i don't know you will have that spiritual nivya <laughs> that that is something very i mean i hope you all will get really that i you will know that is happening to you next time you do something you know you are really making yourself ugly and i don't think no one wants to become ugly <laughs> and you will be losing you know like you look if you are 20 you look 35 it will happen drawn out you know like you know no energy and actually the other way when you are doing you have look so charming so this thing and you will have to escape from ladies <laughs> this funny thing right you run away from them and they come behind you it's something like this you are looking for somebody nobody coming to you <laughs> so these are the positive side of it but you don't do it for that but, but when you're doing that you will find some higher truth i'm sure so i can only give you some like you know buddha's time he promised one monk that he will find a better wife than jan jan kal yani janapada kalyani beauty queen of that time and well buddha managed to bring him <laughs> he had the potential i mean i'm sure all of you are having the potential great potential i feel this you won't be coming like this my friends i don't think there is something in you all that i hope it will open up more in this particular period and you will do something in your life which will make your everybody so you know 
complete and set an example show your real mark as a nation you know this country what it can contribute sri lanka sri lanka the main thing you know after i got this understanding i didn't want to go any western country no not to south africa not to any country other than sri lanka and uh, india of course the himalayas the jungles of sri lanka and the himalayas these are the only attraction even now if i want to go in you know, buddha gaya is number 1 i would say i really like as a place but other places i have no attraction this is for me a suffering coming here <laughs> but not now i feel so happy i can serve and i feel that i have, this is uh, something i this this trip made me just meeting certain people that was enough for me coming this trip the suffering they are going through and i was so happy that i was able to you know be there and these things are really for me now i am really happy because i was always thinking i would want to set an example to even to other monks to go to the western now some of them who don't know much about what is going on they might think oh they might think i am the same having the same mind and that okay when they see when they think england or other countries they think well but i got to know something something that pushed me to come also another one one was of course facing near death the other one was like i have some connection with my some gurus i would say like rishis i don't know if you heard about them the himalayas they develop this concentration power a lot and they can they have some intuitive knowledge about the future the past how the karma works now one of them actually they told me 3 years ago that uh, uh, near rishikesh uh, swami ji they call me swami ji when you are 45 you will have no time even to come to this area and so true <laughs> i'm 45 now it's 46 this october but it's very true he what he said was so true busy going from country to country and yeah they have some kind of um, you know kind of uh, what is this uh, sight to the future that means how our karma works out so i had definitely some destined reason to come here and to be with this kind of i mean this period so so another one i remember um regarding one time i had this experience with this particular rishis where they were able to like behind you there are certain beings that come but you don't normally notice of course they are invisible we call ancestors and all that you know who are attached to us who didn't die who had attachment and they didn't die and they had no merit enough to go leaving you so they are in that stage as they were in with you before maybe before life also they follow the next life also so these beings are attached they have attachment and they create attachment so one day i remember this particular rishi he m- able to sort of bring uh, those invisible beings into the body S- and, ma- and then the other person is unconscious someone else is talking ninga aroda velavage a gaga hitiya velave etra there one boy was brought by uh, the mother he was like going to parties and he was uh, not studying and this kind of thing he was doing so mother was worried and thinking why and then when he was brought suddenly this boy became unconscious someone else was talking through him he said this body i am i am this is my body he was telling said, who are you he said now some name some spirit something then he said when did you come when he was 13 years old how did he come when he was playing games i was surprised you know i mean I, i i couldn't relate it immediately how but then i understood you know how you see now when you we know that when you practice metta compassion meditation may the body be well and all that you know that intention that way of thinking brings a certain type of consciousness higher consciousness then we know if you die like that normally brahma loka but when we say here fight fight kill kill i don't know what uh, now there are so many types of games right i mean it is like a variety and uh, and when you are doing like that what kind of consciousness you are activating a lower kind of consciousness it may be even a looking innocent thing but it makes you addictive means you want to again and now it's and then if that lower consciousness is created so that is understandable rationally uh 
so just imagine the other thing i was in oxford university they found that addiction to games is uh, what it is uh, equal to the heroin addiction the dopamine release in the brain equal to heroin the dopamine rush because the, that is where the addiction they study the brain function the dopamine that is put out that's called feel good hormones that is put out the exact quantity of uh, games same with this uh, what is this um, heroin so you can see that you know this the not only really that so many other things i don't know but only i got to know about the games so anywhere you find you addicted you want to do it again and again definitely computer is neutral my friends computer is like a you know just a instrument what you are using it for so we must know the demon is using it more than <laughs> the buddha so the, if something you know that makes you excited a lot in that definitely the demon is in action so there one place the some spirit like that when they said he came through facebook <laughs> i don't know actually i have i know to operate youtube for the programs that's also for the programs tell you honestly if i was u- using for that other purpose i would not get this pra- we got this certain visions when we were in the ju- quiet places living a simple life no not even uh, any idea of what the village the kapakaru or nothing no connection to any human being or to a scenery just having the original teachings and with a kind of a candle lamp or a kerosene lamp if you are practicing only we got these things so if you are distracted by even lot of knowledge through all this technology impossible but i am now using it for the programs because for you all i feel sometimes very bad because sometimes uh, i don't want to set that example um but then uh, i don't know whether i also got addicted in some form there's a way i get those pictures of uh, and then to for you to come to come to you all with that certain what i am having inside i bring it outside for the when i come because even now while i'm talking you will be experiencing something to do that i need to do some type of and very helpful to have that graphic picture to activate that <coughs> and um, so because like dopamine rush i have another rush through that you can get so you must know what you but unfortunately this is used by people who are not enlightened who are having that diseases in the mind so unless this you are told about there are damage danger in these things that's also important that knowledge should go so that next time you learn not to destroy yourself or to harm yourself and you keep away uh, so very interesting you know now the the spirit centering in another form now look at the mri scan scientifically the equal to heroin and the dopamine working coming out of your brain you can even test for other things that you are using and the other one i remember yeah it's also very interesting research like uh, you know even the other addictions connected with um, i don't i can't tell about it okay now the one more thing i must tell now even in these countries you know in england and uh, west in the in america and all that i have heard i have found that there are west con- local people like you know vegan you have they keep away from other food and they are seeing the benefit of how do you pronounce that vegan them come the can again vegan ne vegan we got our time we didn't have all this now is a new one <laughs> okay uh, that was that they are good in a way you know going closer to nature and things like that now if you have if you now like this there's another group who keep away from certain perversions of sexual activity which um, you know these people they are keeping away like a group because it's a challenge it's not easy but they have known the damage the danger of that and like one week two weeks they are keeping away because they know like the certain spirits come to eat that muck that is created in your system the fluid that is even you know when you are exciting your mind the fluid that is created around you they they have also got to know there are certain spirits that eat on that i wish this dhamma was taught to me when i was a young boy i would have gone further not losing a certain you know i mean i would have not known there's the energy in these things because it's i told you they will call it biological need <laughs> so simple no need to worry about it <laughs> don't go insane and you can drive the car it's not like drinking alcohol you can drive the car only 
<laughs> so so whatever it is um, now when you, when you know that there, there's this this thing though this group is called no fap i must tell you n o f a double p p so this is in youtube you'll find no fap n o f a double p p so this is actually double p or single p so there's an entire group this must help certain people now there are some people who have told me who are age 50 60 70 some bante nobody told us this they are doing social work lot of good work but these things are happening to them because this has been going on as a habit and uh, because we have not learned to you know re- relate the spiritual teachings to this time this current day and age and then you have uh, so from the age of 14 also so these are now this is only one aspect so i also tell even marriage is like becoming a monk you stick to one person you don't change you know uh, out we, i mean uh, if you keep changing you know it is like never ending you'll never find a perfect co- companion my friends i think i told <laughs> partnership in the sensual world i said uh, many asked me in sri lanka you are are you married you know now i'm sorry in india because they think i'm wearing a costume some places they don't know that i am a monk so i said yes i am married i tell them immediately i said where is your wife then i say here the buddha is my wife so and actually that is one that is the perfect marriage you can have i think i have been telling this story but there are little new people they said there's there's a new there's a book written how to find a perfect husband and how to find a perfect wife two books written have you heard you must be having the book store here maybe it's out now in this bookshop here and uh, this might be good before it's too late <laughs> and you might get tips and then uh, uh, the, i think recently somebody has gone to get that book somewhere in london or i think south africa i, I can't remember So when he has gone there he has he couldn't find it there and he asked the I think shopkeeper where is that book how to find a perfect wife then the shopkeeper has said uh, oh the fiction section <laughs> <laughs> Yes my friends you cannot this is it's not a possibility now people who have understood like in Asia is a bit easy but in the foreign country they have no idea and they just keep on and on and 80 years old they have another wedding just goes on it goes on and unfortunately that wisdom has not come into the mind it's not possible my friends you get what around surroundings according to you if you are perfect you'll get a perfect surrounding <laughs> it's a reflection of you if you are half perfect you get a half perfect surrounding <laughs> you can't complain about it because the surrounding is created actually if you are perfect you will not get surrounding and there won't be a you also nothing you know you can't be something and be perfect impossible even if everything is okay if some if it's something it will end it has a beginning so it ends it has a anitya <clears throat> so that's why buddha shows you how not to not to become not to be and there's no that's the perfection to find perfection in the absence of the world not in the presence of this world so anyway i am telling these things so if you make that's why i said if you have this wisdom it is good okay if your husband wife leaves you and go that's okay you don't make karma you make him you don't you try your best to also sort of develop the qualities of patience not finding fault and so on and there are some cases where suddenly you get attracted or distracted by some persons they look so compatible but out of your normal uh you know relationship you're going out means you having a weak karma you i think today also i experience certain people i just have to you know they are, now you can see they are coming to me with so much mental worry who has created that them i hope they are not here but i like to tell this point um uh, you see she was with somebody okay some maybe like a child or something and then she was telling bante and i i met some people who have some problems i have told today after my arms round 
So uh, then Chaitanya, then I gave some solution. Then I asked, where is the father of this child? Then he said, well, um, father, um, I am separated or something. And uh, and then somebody else is helping me. <laughs> I, and I, I, of course, it's very clear to me. Somebody else helping means somebody else. And the problem with that somebody else. <clears throat> I didn't go to further, but look, the person has done a big mistake. Even if you are tortured, better you would have not been thinking about the child. And not going away from your... Because you can see the karma following. Now you you think suddenly... And then you turn away. You make double karma. <coughs> you become a patachara by that way. And then... Uh, but of course I'm sure I gave some points. You'd understand that out of this thing, how you... you know, And there's problem with this case also. Because that is a weak karma. That's why you get distracted by something. It might look, so if you go into that, you'll upset this and you'll find out that also. Because if you're cheating, you'll find you'll get a cheater. <laughs> so this is something, I noticed once I remember, so some ladies, they come, they can't tell anyone and they just, one day one lady, she just, she was crying while she was worshipping. So I, uh, I knew she would go on to some difficult thing. I said, what is it, uh, madam? Then she told me, Bante, my husband, they are in a, they are quite a, they are having a quite a position in Sri Lanka, in the society, they are quite, um, so now they can't tell anyone also, the husband is carrying on with somebody <coughs> in the office. And now uh, the wife, so the wife is now, you know, really, she's really heartbroken and she's maybe very angry. So I'm, then I told her, when he's going through a bad period, though we are married, we have still different karma and destiny. And when a bad period comes, these distractions come. And these negative forces, sort of from both sides, who are from who are the other side and this side, when they meet only, this falling in love, this thing happen. These are the negative spirits entering the body. I studied this, how it's happening. Because it's a very mysterious thing how you fall in love with somebody. <coughs> So when that was when when it happens like that, if you have an understanding, but if you're attached to your husband and expect something, then that's why it spoils everything. So you will resent and that love is changed to hate. But if you know and if you're detached, you can even tell knowing his condition, and he also don't want to do this maybe, and but he's driven by these inner forces. So when you can tell him, don't worry, you're going through Senesuru Apala these days. We will do a Bodhi Puja for you. You can, he will fall in love with you. <laughs> so that's how much detachment you have. You can really be a super husband, a super wife, I would think. So the practice of it, it that's if you don't get worried in a circumstance, you can be the best, you know, you can face that circumstance in the best possible way. And you have evolved your soul also. Because something is happening to you, there is some reason for, for that. It's not coming by chance. Some lesson that you have to learn. You have done a mistake too, somewhere in past. It's nothing just coming out of the blues. So, I don't know, I'm telling all these points. I'm coming back to another level of things. So I generally covered some of the things I want to explain at a ground level. And um, anything I like, or any question, and I can try to, you know, like explain something from that. I see some of you are in quite still some distress. I think some things are worrying you all. Let me see. Hmm? <laughs> Life is not easy, my friends. I know. I I mean I know means I am not going through when I meet the people and when I get to know what they are going through. I I am also surprised really. Yesterday, another person with two tumors and all that. I mean, she looks so beautiful, everything. But going through all these things, you know. Not what we see, nicely dressed. Oh, this was a... Oh, this, I, now I remember the point I want to tell. I was telling about rishis, some rishis. That some other thing, information I got that convinced me to come on this trip. Right? I don't know, it's just floating all these thoughts and they just come up again. So this is one, like I used to get some information, they have some vision, you know, some knowledge about. So, so I was really hesitant with them making a really a wrong decision to accept these invitations and go. 
because I don't mind sacrificing. I am already, I have done this for now 17 years. Why can't I, I don't mind going another head and really doing something. This is my dream. Uh, maybe become a really an arahant and then come. It doesn't matter when I'm 18 years old even after that. So I was really thinking, I, because I didn't want to, I'm not in a hurry, I can go on. So there they, they, I had this contact with them and they told me like this. You know, they were telling, don't think in the West and these places that they are all... Because I was feeling guilty, like, why, why am I not going to Africa? <laughs> of course, I didn't get an invitation from Africa. If I, And why am I not going to some other place like China or somewhere? I mean, I mean, of course, I don't have an invitation from there. But still, it's like, you know, th- we think from Sri Lanka, maybe, that, you know, okay, in those countries, just England means England, you know, that is like all... Payments with gold and all that. <laughs> oh God. That can. <laughs> yeah. I feel so sad also sometimes. So, anyway, I was forewarned, I would say, or told before. Uh, then he, this Rishi told, don't think, you must go. Why? He told me like this, you know, it's like a arid land, like uh, out after drought fully caught with this uh, you know heat and all that and then if you give this dhamma it's like spreading water into that terrid land and you go there they will, i can see that of course people here appreciate so much i can notice and i'm so happy i mean i really can die in peace another thing that suffering has made them to really appreciate the dhamma to go because also they have no vanity or some kind of illusion about material life also they see the maximum they could see about it that's also a good aspect, definitely. You don't have some fantasy about it. But also, because of that exposure to that kind of thing and how to maintain it, the life, you have to you can't be a lazy person here to survive. I mean, here, I think mostly more people are more educated. And but, I, uh, but I notice in, say, France and maybe, I don't know, but still you'll, be, you'll have occasions where you have to work in different situations, right? My father told me when he was, he, he worked in a restaurant, not restaurant, yeah, restaurant kitchens and how he worked one time. And he told me a story once. He was in London for 10 years. Actually, he was playing the fool. He was going to the, he had a car, he used to go to the continent. He used to tell me all his stories, Italy. I think he had girlfriends everywhere. And then <laughs> he used to just enjoy everywhere. I mean, he was like a joker, entertainer for the Sri Lankan crowd, maybe, those days in 1970s. And uh, because he's very artist, he can play piano, all these things, and he's a very sociable person. So what happened, he, uh, one day he told me that he was working in a restaurant somewhere, and in the kitchen. So another Asian person came, but he suspected he's a Sri Lankan <laughs> young man. And then he was given the waiter, you know, like in front to work, but he's, which is higher than my father, for example. Now he was... So one day he happened to, he, now he was trying to avoid him as much as possible. But one day they came in contact. Then uh, he asked, uh, where are you from? Something like that. Then he has said, South America. <laughs> and the next day he left the, left the job. <laughs> so he used to tell me, he's, um, in the latter period when he started studying, I think uh, when he was late 20s, uh, at the time then he then came to Sri Lanka, married my mother. So, but anyway, it's very, it's good experience, I think. And when you, I think here you can attain Nibbana easy. Because you have that drive, that suffering you feel, and you know you don't have any grandeurs about the material world also. And when you have the Dhamma to replace it, but you need a little bit, you know, I would say, how to do the meditation while doing the work. This you have to bring in. This is not because you have a lot of work. It's because you are not mastering that particular technique of uh, walking without feeling tension, talking without feeling tension, driving without feeling tension. Like you must feel the seat and f- sit in a comfortable posture and pay attention to, don't rush to drive. Just, I mean, you have normally to sort of think we have to get to the airport or pick up somebody or something. Okay, we have that plan, but feel the moment a little bit. It will make a big difference. Like in Australia, I did this and even here, there was one gentleman, normally the gentlemen who take, bring me or take me from place to place. So they feel now it's close quarter and they could ask many questions 
they are all very interested really very interesting i'm also very pleased to be with them so so normally when i'm also going in the vehicle i rather be quiet you know so that i can focus and sort of go deep into some meditation so anyway some of them did ask me now these few days they several time they asked me first they know they asked me bante is it okay if i talk so i would say okay <laughs> i can't be so unkind and uh, and they used to ask me so one gentleman i know he asked me but he was like uh, then i said then he also came to the point where how to do this can it can it be done in your day to day life this practice then i said mahatyo we do it now i said and uh, he was talking a lot and then i told let's let me let me, let us try right now and now he's driving right now he was seated his seat was like reclining and he was like straight holding the steering wheel so i said my um, uh, my friend your seat is like you know recline you think of the hansi putua in sri lanka we have the reclining very relaxing chair in chairs we have so why don't you recline re- relax and feel the seat and feel the steering wheel and feel how you're holding and just pay attention and feel the steering wheel and the uh, seat while you're driving and, and he was becoming he was quiet after that and he was quiet for some time he said those bante i'm feeling i know i never felt this you know it's like he was feeling this uh, said i wish bante you are always with me here <laughs> so you can tell me so really i was very happy you know i was so happy i mean of course some small these are small things it's not a complicated thing so these are the things that will energize your mind and slowly increase your practice where you you know there you when you able to sustain like that you can get more then you can investigate self self realization comes from self investigation application you this will be only words if you don't develop this mind there will not there will never be a realized experience it will be in a kind of a dream form so to make it practical first you have these are steps buddha gives how to strengthen the mind this is called iriya pate where you're focusing on the bodily movement whether you're going to the toilet watching how you go to the toilet not having all this daydreaming while you're doing that and then uh, when you're walking now some people they do it now when they're in real crisis they remember me and <laughs> they think oh maybe we try what bante said and one from milan i remember one lady you know she, i thought she should sit in the chair the way she because she practiced so much she really mastered like i have told how when you're going to catch the train how to you know think how you're going on a holiday now when you're not on a holiday only you rush you know now you're thinking we have to meet, go to the office and then or working place so you note the compartments but you remind yourself again to check your mental relaxedness how it and then move your body don't forget then see why i'm rushing why i'm let me relax the tension the office is not ready there is a far away thing why i worry about something now already or working place or how am i going to deal with the, the boss the work i have not done now this i face myself my friend if you worry you will have a double i mean uh, uh, you could say a, a super crash with the situation if you don't worry miracles will happen now i'm not telling this just for sake of saying i have my personal experience when i had to hand over uh, you know some assignment two years i worked this was only experience one week in cyprus or nicosia uh, that i want to be independent for my father and i worked in this uh, like a confectionery like oh. so i thought better to study than work after that one week <laughs> because all your muscles are this thing you know i mean um, i'm not used to so the, uh, only that one week and i bought pirikara and all this that was my first salary i think i got and then the other one was uh, in of course an audit firm and so but i brought in the meditation into the work my friends if you don't bring medi- if you don't replace that consciousness work consciousness office consciousness from with the spiritual peaceful consciousness you will have to come back to birmingham again or this london <laughs> england but if you break the five precepts and work you don't need visa also 
<laughs> you'll be a permanent resident here <laughs> you're born as a ghost <laughs> okay so but uh, say you practice you kept those sealers you get this interest again yes you have been here these places the same thing repeating the consciousness get the same area to experience itself again no i wanted to ask a question somebody and then answer who oh, you are the one who asks ask no anyone else maybe we go to a question and then some i will explain the last the cherry part of my discourse <laughs> I have tr- tr- tried, tried to watch my mind. My mind as it goes from one thing to, to another. It seems to be boring all the time. I don't know why. Okay. Just to notice that it's going is good enough. If you see it's not going is problem. So just, you have already tried to notice. If you said it was not going, you would be lying. So you were telling the truth. you always see it's going 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 it's okay and but uh, if you really pay attention you'll also notice your breathing like you know you are now looking at your thoughts okay yeah. it's going going what thought you notice your inhaling and exhaling did you notice that not not tanapanasati nothing i don't bring any of this information did you notice now when you're like paying attention to your thoughts what are they going did you begin to uh, notice no no now you can try do you feel now if you just try to pay attention to the thoughts you see your lungs expanding and expanding like you slightly feel the movement going you're relaxing and just watching your thoughts this is always happening but we are normally not conscious but naturally you will notice begin a point where you're noticing it is happening you can see like you because you you are always taking breath in and out you can see the feeling you're drawing in now you notice now you notice this is important you must develop that much as possible where you are coming to the point of coming to this moment this is a sort of yardstick or kind of a uh, idea of you have your attention has come to this moment when you are not now normally we am talking this thing doing this and that watching even thoughts and all that but we are not in the moment we are uh, we when when we are really in the moment to us now this is not also fully in the moment but we are close to the moment in a very tangible way you will be noticing yourself breathing now even when you're driving when you're seated when you're really relaxing if you come to the point where you find you can notice your natural breathing process you know you have come to a good standard of observation awareness these are basic but when you but when you, you are tapping the energy mind when you are doing that more you can notice and wait more the mind goes to the energy part of your mind not the stress part of your mind more you are not noticing you are in a more of a unreal world so unreal world means like a vampire it sucks all your energy out hmm so it sucks all your mental energy out and then you feel stressed out and then you have a long face <laughs> that is a long face you know for no reason and uh, so to overcome this long face one has to any other question i mean it doesn't have to be in meditation as such something really bothers you in your office or work. most valuable thing you learned from him that has helped you in your okay life so yeah i must say he's very obvious many things but i would say he's very example many incidences but the main thing i would say he gave me the right gps the right gps <laughs> okay 
<laughs> that's what I'm also now in the end I'm going to give you you also that what I got that I don't uh, you can't be tricked otherwise this in this corrupted day and age even spiritual tricks are happening so that you don't waste your time and you're reaching the goal of liberation because you're having you know the the right GPS <coughs> you know what GPS right guru position system <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> So, this is something, <laughs> this is actually we ne- it's necessary. Otherwise, do you think this banner now, the YouTube clips, this is your GPS, right? It's important you can, the, now the YouTube, you can check now, this will be recorded, put to YouTube. I, I suggest you go through this particular clips very much and I, am, I can guarantee that you will not be misled at all. You find the right path, isn't it? Do you take that? Do you buy that, in other words? What I said? Yeah, I think I did explain all the thing. How do you know what I have achieved? Do you think I might be enlightened? Maybe my little shine is there, but that can be maybe I applied Nivea and came before coming here. <laughs> we don't know, my friends. Now I'll come to this topic also immediately. Who knows? What I have realized, what I have, uh, any monk who is coming there, you'll meet so many. Of course, one thing is, you can idea if you want to, it's the life, the action, not the talking part. How the person is living, what, because a person who has realized something, he should be living that life. It can't be two things, actions and talking, there should be some harmony seen. But that is also not the way to, you know, sort of, um, so Buddha has told, before he passed away, that uh, how much you hear there's a monk here who have attained some marga pala or something or some don't say yes don't say no but check what they have said with my dhamma vinaya what i have spoken you check whether they are telling the same thing check even if you find one time second time third time check and the third time if you don't find think they have misunderstood so another place he says the mahaparinirvana sutta the last advice he give is very important last period ananda don't think that the guru is no more the master that my teaching will be your master hereafter so now this is a very important lesson today also especially for us today where we have so many types of people coming teaching preaching i mean we can't spend a lot of time there's a short time so we must quickly get the right information and then practice it and realize it so uh, other thing is we have sometimes just knowledge only reading the suttas or dhamma you know it's also not like that you must learn how to get the vision how to meditate using the suttas now i demonstrated some things how to see the anatta nature the five elements the hard nature here hard nature here and to get an idea he shows certain places where you see he makes you to understand how we conceptualize things how we when we take things apart how the idea of self goes away idea of self comes from you know wrong attention and not really seeing in parts we are in parts but we have put together do you have a scissor here have you got a scissor it's funny. It's funny, you know. All the programs I'm going, there's a scissor somehow. I thought they're specially arranged for me. I'm going to be a barber now. Um, so I'm now immediately going to a meditation and some interesting thing. Last part, sir. Let's see who I can take. Maybe this young man is there. Young gentleman? Your mother and father, they are here? Do I have permission to get his get some donation from him? Here, yeah, donation. It's okay. <laughs> okay, let them come. You can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I'll cut from somewhere where no one sees. Only the crows will see. <laughs> okay. yeah, you have a lot of hair. It's okay. That shows you have a lot of energy. You know. Just forget about these people around. Just get an idea. Do you feel this hair is you? 
Hmm? This you, right? Mm -hmm. This glasses? Do you feel it's you? No. no eh? And this hair is you. Hmm? So, what about this hair? How do you feel now? No. Not yours, eh? Or less you? Less of me, eh? Yeah? Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. He's also very honest, you know, very easy to do with. Uh, some people are very tough, you know, they make all come. <laughs> okay. Look, you see, the same as one which is in his head, you know, but then he gets the idea, this is me, this is my hair. But in a few seconds, it's taken away. Maybe you can have a, like a wig, you know, put it back. <laughs> okay. And then you, because it's in this space, you get the idea. It's because in this space, the concept comes. This is me. This is mine. So actually, these scissors, there are times in the Buddha's time, when monks, because their minds were so alert, so energized, you know, when they were cutting, they got this vision. They, ha they became enlightened while the hair was cut. Now today also when we ordain, they you know tell you take the hair and all this <coughs> chanting is done. This is this is as a meditation object. Simple, f deeper truths of existence was known by that simple activity. So this when it is in this space, you get the idea of self, my friends. And you can just see how you can't keep on. So the the scissor should be your. Discrimination. So when you read some of this, they, Buddha helps you to apply to yourself and to take away the part by part. Now, for example, he says hardness here and the hardness here, for example, you know, the, your teeth or something. That is a nature. Those days there was no idea of electrons and all that. Now, electron, that way is a more, it's also correct, it's a more refined way. But he told in terms of nature, hard nature and hard nature, it's same. The bone here hard and here hard is hardness. So if, when you take it as nature, you don't get this is my hardness. It's just a nature. And the fluid nature with the blood that is flowing in you and the water that is flowing in the tap is same. So that needs certain tranquility to actually this is the reality. You begin to see that this is just a nature and how this idea of self comes because of your lack of observation of that nature-wise. So that concept, that your mind is in ignorance, therefore the conceptualizing <coughs> takes place. So if someone scolds you, you know, you, you, don't see, you don't see a person there, nor a person being scolded. You're at peace. He might think you're mad, but it's okay. <coughs> if you look mad in the society, you're enlightened. <laughs> In the mad society, when you look mad, then only you are sane. <laughs> okay? So, this, this is, that's why suffering is, so this is, a, this is how you have to take away like the, now the, this hall and everything. It's an idea. You get an idea, this is a, uh, like with the bricks and all that, you take them apart, it's no more. Same way the body with its flesh and blood and bones you put together, you get the sense of self. You take it apart. So you take that apart, that's a meditation. Even with your children and your husband and wife, now normally children also, if something happens, they die and they are... Now if they are if reborn somewhere, you, if someone tells, this is your old son, you would not want to have him. I mean, it's not nice to tell parents, you know, when... my I used to tell my mother, can you imagine a shanaka without a picture of him? I mean, it's not possible. And even if you bring that other boy, another boy somewhere born and tells, this is your son, would you like to adopt or something? No, you want that whole picture. So it's interesting how we get attached to a kind of, a, you know, that so some monks who are old and they become monks old and they have left families, it's difficult for them to overcome uh, uh, children. They can let go parents and all that or parents are dead already maybe, but wives and all that, but they can't let go, children. So they tell me what meditation they do to overcome that. They do the practice of seeing how the body disintegrates in nine days when it is I mean, uh, 
disintegrating after you know you don't sort of bury it how the worms eat and so on so they do like that and that picture that attachment to the picture goes away and that inner thirst that inner worry fear also fades it's a beautiful thing i had a great grandmother you know who when the son one of his sons died was dying and died then she was called she didn't go there she was having a japa mala and she had no tears she has been just in front of the buddha statue and just meditating and she didn't go near him and i heard that she used to tell my mother my mother also very religious and she also meditates a lot and tell my mother mehmai duve navasivike vadanni this is how you practice the nine you know stages of decomp- decomposing how do you pronounce that dik i now forget that decomposition right okay now for a long time i'm speaking english also now some words je yeah so now it's like writing some you know when you don't know the spellings you write it tuck tuck like that okay <laughs> so now when i'm speaking i just make something i can't remember because long period in sri lanka i was like in a prison in sri lanka in a way where I, in terms of in, in terms of expressing myself because all my conditioning was in english <laughs> and and then for when people happened to come and i was not doing bana and all that but still it was in sinhalese language mostly and now and then it's a problem when i come here i find i have to tell in sinhalese i don't know <laughs> but now i understand i'm so happy you know i had the complaint initially i'm still thinking why i'm not giving this dhamma to the local people i come to england to give to english people not to sri lankans but there has to be a start these are the people who have protected this that's why they immediately they are the ones of course i don't want to blow you too much <laughs> but uh, i get that feeling and i also see you all like you all have a lot of suffering so they i am really satisfied being here so i really want to give you the real medicine of the buddha's teaching you must get because we are we are satisfied with the culture part of it actually we are so hypocritical and you know i don't know we have become so corrupt in a form and uh, we would be satisfied with um, not doing the self restraint the practices what the buddha said so i must quickly go to this I'm, now when i told about the hard nature and hard this thing this is uh, their sutta now dhamma buddha explains so they are the kamatahana you get now i told the gps this is a sign post the sutta now the other problem is the singhali translations there's this problem also in this language you know they have made the translation complicated so to overcome that the kiribat goda nyananda hamdro and nadi mahale their translations you know they are they have made it simpler maybe talking language that we have those knowledge now it should be that way but uh, it should now i can't recommend a single one to do because there are some suttas they have sort of explained it by bracket that should also not be done it should be just a literal translation simple because the thing is you are trying to get the understanding from the words a person who has realized he knows the words are signpost the understanding if someone try to explain it shows he has not realized it meka therna da man ki upa karuna therna da ne ீல <laughs> not that that you know we, i mean even uh, to be little i don't know how maybe uh, we can't say we are born <laughs> vegetables you know <laughs> no we i think we should rise up now we should rise up my friends we should be alert we should be good in the worldly work also and then of course we that, that's not the only life that is a low life actually <coughs> we must really make sure self realization comes quickly and we can contribute something to this world in this dark period if you do something is a big thing today so so applying this this is very important when you now there the old way is called paryapti pratipatti prativeda paryapti means to study in the map and pratipatti means practicing that 
Prativeda means when you practice, you get the insight. This is the way how it goes. So now these suttas are very interesting. Now sometimes we go to Abhidharma and all that. We like that because it explains a lot. And it now the problem is I have no uh, knowledge, deep knowledge about Abhidharma because I don't need to have. <laughs> Sutta was very well re- recorded as the original words. Even scholars know very well. So not through scholarship. If you practice, you will know super. You know, I, you, there's no question about it. Buddha is alive there. Other things are questionable. <laughs> because uh, I don't know, I, but I don't want to talk without an experience in that. And I don't need to have an experience. But with the suttas, it's your real GPS. Now to have it as a knowledge also is not the right way. Just to have a lot of bundles of maps is not meaningful. If you are going on a treasure hunt and really making a move, this is helpful. So, these are like signposts actually. You take now, he explains in a very plain way. Now, people who can understand in English very much, the translations are no problem. You have word of the Buddha by Jnana Tiloka Mahathera. I will, this is like a small handy book which made my teacher from a yogi, Hindu yogi to a Buddhist during the Second World War time when they were interned in Dehradun. So, this is something I recommend. This is like a very, I, I also have it in my, so you have under the four noble truths taken from the suttas, highlighting those points from the very words of the master. And the main concepts about anatta, about the conditionality, like this. So that you can, you know, like, uh, it could be a handy book all the way, beginning and to the end. The other ones I recommend, middle and discourse, because Majjima Nikaya. Now, the, the one or two suttas, now, actually there are two pages, or one page sometimes. So don't think it's a bulk, you know, there are, you can even turn from anywhere and then you can read from there. It's not like a novel that f- follows because the ancient monks, they compiled it under certain sections. So there was just this one sutta means an encounter with the Buddha and it's recorded. And that, that one verse can trigger that insight. So you have to learn to read it now, Satipatthana Sutra or whatever, you read it and apply it yourself. So now in the end, I'm going to do just a small part, a small demonstration of it. But when you I hope you can purchase these books and keep it at your bedside or somewhere. Re- read a bit, apply, relax. And you already learned to relax now by driving without getting tension. So all the background is created, not seeing what is unnecessary. Now the other practice is the Indriya Sangvara, where you don't see what is unnecessary, you know, like with the senses. This is also important, which will reduce your monkey mind. Say you are crossing the road, you see the vehicles going, but you don't have to see who is inside the vehicle. So then if you are like passing a crowd, you see people, but you don't recognize who they are. Now you can look at my eyes, you know, I am focused, right? Now how do I look? Do I look focused? You can see my eyes. Hmm? Or no focus? Now, do I look focused? Now, no focus, right? This you have to practice. So, but <laughs> this is easy to say, you know, but you learn not to take, like you screen what you get into your senses. Then it will register less and your monkey mind will be less. This is one big, one take, it's a, also sila, it is called, Indriya Sangvara sila. They say monks observe crows of sila. The, when they practice this, this is called Kotiak Sangvara Sile. Bhikshun Vansana practice Yogi Uruvika. Bhikshun Vansana like, Kometa, it is Yoga Vacharyu. Miss Nimana Pashekar Puttave. The male, though, this, this is one. Then other one is Iriyapate. That involves how you walk without feeling stressed out. That means you are paying attention to your body. Breathing, you are noticing, more noticing your functions of the body. You are stepping, you are feeling the steps. So you are paying attention to then you gather energy also. Go to Samadhi. Other one is Bhojana Matanyu. Bhojana Matanyu means restrain of eating. Food is a big drainage of energy. So you, now in India I tell, you know, they, if you take non-veg food, it's like you commit murder there. Because they stick to that rule so much, you know, vegetarian is like a very sacred thing for them. So I tell them sometimes, chutney is more damaging than non-veg. You get the point? Tasting. So in our case, it is 
కట్టు సాంబోల్నే ముఖ తిరిగాని లూనుమిరీస్ లూనుమిరీస్ వీ టేక్ లూనుమిరీస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సో మచ్ యూనో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ క్రియేటింగ్ సో మచ్ సెన్సేషన్ విత్ ద టంగ్ టూ థింగ్స్ మై ఫ్రెండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ కంట్రోల్ నథింగ్ హ్యాపన్స్ నౌ దిస్ ఓల్డ్ ఓల్డ్ ఫార్మ్ ఇన్ ఐ ఆల్వేస్ టెల్ ద టంగ్ అండ్ ద సెక్షువల్ ఆర్గన్ దే లుక్ సేమ్ రెడ్ విత్ నర్వ్స్ దట్స్ వై సో మెనీ రూల్స్ ఆర్ గివెన్ టు కంట్రోల్ దిస్ so now this part i explained already very much you know uh, i don't want to go into it very much so this too the food also very important so now normally i say if you have a tasty food everywhere like you know all this delicious food they have made i call this like you have gone to a night club simple you have to see it in the, if you are a meditator you will notice this you eat plain food don't stimulate with uh, spices and also what is this uh, lunumiris ne lunuambul lunuambul yeah uh, what is this salt and lunudehi lunudehi sorry lunudehi correct <laughs> these are the sharp feelings that you get and they they sharpen the other things also like you feel very real the sensual things now in australia they really practice this you know and i found that because they have to practice with me of course because i am not coming to sort of uh, lalabai what is it what do you call it nalavanda vena mama mega commando gamana you know i told him i faced it i'm still on that practice after here i hope i can go back to those areas and do more practice remembering you all also for your sake that i could practice more so uh, they are they practice that it's funny you know they um, uh, so when they, they practice one lady she came i remember she told bante uh she want to pay respects because she has heard the program through the f- husband keeping the cell phone thing but there she was getting some effect and she was facing lot of you know like hypertension this that some i don't know name she gave she suddenly felt some coolness for the first time and then she came of course and then said so bante i want to meet you pay my respects I said okay and then she said um, i had uh, what is this um, yeah now also my what is this um, supervisor is you know i had she is coming he's coming today and i he'll be taking normally when he's coming like that i have gastritis and all these things but now i don't have venerable sir i was so happy the simple practices you cut away you become brave enough to cut that feeling so when this uh, now i used to tell them how to <laughs> eat without tasting the food keep the tongue away now this i in those day program i did in uh, australia but what happens then when you are cutting away because this food you know the look at the food is like muck you know when it's touching your tongue it creates the consciousness tongue consciousness there you notice this is chocolate this is something something this is perception this is co- cognizing when that food is munched and that it's not no more the my consciousness doesn't arise so you have to give some eat something else again to touch and then it happens so you see the conditionality of it so you see this is this uh, consciousness is disappeared like you make a fire you know you when you click and then it burning the fire is seen when it finished burning you have to put another stick so same way it's disappeared you can't say where it disappeared it doesn't exist there same way you have consciousness coming it doesn't exist you notice it when you are not munching that type of food how you are not getting the f- f- feeling but meanwhile you have to really pay attention the muck part of your food then only you separate the consciousness and you are not i didn't with it and you see plainly what is really going on when you separate like that your attachment to the other objects in the sensual world is seen as unreal that is maybe it's your children especially or husband wife you see that is a relative idea which arises there and then like a dog looking into a well when it's outside you think so there's another dog there's no really another dog it's a reflection there do you get this this is also very important i don't know i'm interested now is my mind is going into that detail of uh, this will create a lot of peace <laughs> because you begin to notice a nightmare as nightmare and to be knowingly knowing that is a nightmare and a dream and to be there is no more a nightmare being a nightmare and to not to know and feel is real is a very big problem 
and then you don't take seriously any situations happening in your life you separate you because of wisdom wisdom is the one that separates this so much without that wisdom to sometimes you have that energy mind i call resting relaxing that also separates but that doesn't separate as much as when you get the true knowledge of what you are experiencing now we are coming closer to self realization by this where where are we who is this jnana loka is he the hair that of course i have no hair now <laughs> okay is he what so you begin to know and and the main bliss happiness is knowing how the self arises it's a idea there's no actually there's the self arises with associating certain things and you begin to know that it's just an idea it's a concept it has no so if it's normally when you have in samadhi or upeksha tranquility you feel the body is not yourself but you feel that feeling of equanimity upeksha as self mama kila hitana e thani peta ekai ekuna dakina kot is a state of consciousness a experience a feeling if you happen to know you see that is even it's a subtle feeling subtle sense of i that's why with knowledge more investigation that is just also rising and passing away like that experience of putting food into your mouth what was the food for that peacefulness to come seal it so if you start to break seal it you will not have it if you start to maintain seal it you will have that peacefulness so that is also condition you have to keep on doing that so when you begin to know that all this is condition and it's arising that what you are experiencing you feel it as self and there you begin to you don't really get hold on to sort of a ego but this is a bit it's a final way to go so you can what you know ni mate flow again nathi ni on ta i podan nivana pettata yanda giya ega hondai uh <laughs> can you, you you may be good you know how don't know whether you uh can you explain that part how you understood singly um here api aahareya ganna kota e denena rasa samvedane e aahare dive sparsha wenakam thamai eka tiyenne etakota api te yam sapa සැපයක් දැනෙනවා නම් අපි පොඩක් ඒ සැපයට ඇලෙන් නැති පිටක් බලන්න ඕනේ ඒ ඒ ආහාරයේ නිසා තමයි මේ රස සංවේදනේ හපලා ඒ කටේ තියෙන මේක නිසා තමයි ඒ රස සංවේදනේ තියෙන්නේ කියන එක අපි ඒක පොඩක් බලන්න ඕනේ අපි ඒ වගේ මේක අපි අපි දැකිය නොයුතු දේවල් අවොයිඩ් කරලා ඒ අපේ මේ සෙන්ස් සෙන්ෂුවල් ප්‍රෙෂර්ස් අවොයිඩ් කිරීම ප්‍රැක්ටිස් කරන එක තුලින් අපිට යම් සැපයක් දැනෙනවා නම් අපි කෙනෙක් ජීවිතේට මොකක් හරි අර පීස්ෆුල්නස් එකක් දැනෙනවා නම් අපි ඒකත් පොඩ්ඩක් කන්ටෙම්ප්ලේට් කරන්න ඕනේ මේ සීලේ නිසා තමයි මේ පීස්ෆුල්නස් එක අපි එන්නේ නැත්තම් අපේ පීස්ෆුල්නස් එකත් මේ ඇත්තටම ආහාරයක් ලැබෙනවා ඒකට ඒකට ආහාරය තමයි සීලය එහෙම සංවර වෙච්ච හින්දා එතකොට මෙතන පේන්නේ තමන්ට පේනවා මේ ඔක්කොම මේ කොහොමද ඒතකොට මම කියන අදහස එන්නේ නැහැ හිස් තැනකට ඒකත් අර මම අල්ල ගන්නත් ඕනේ මෙතන කොහෙද මේ මම ඉන්නේ කියලා එතකොට මේ දිවට තැර වෙනකල් තමයි අර මම අදහස එන්නේ ඒ ෆීලිංග්ස් වලට එතකොට දැන් දැන් ඒ තැරවිලා නැතුව ගියාම ඒ නැති වෙච්ච එකට මම කියලා හිතෙන්නේ නැහැ අර එතකොට ඒක ඒක දකින්න ඕනේ එතකොට ඒක ඇත්තටම මේක කැඩෙනකොට ලොකු දෙයක් වෙනවා මේක පේනකොට කැම ගැන පංච ඉන්ද්‍රියම තේරෙන්න පටන් ගන්නවා තමන්ගේ බැඳීම ළමයින්ට නෝනට මහත්තයාට ඒවත් දකිනවා මේවා ඇත්ත ඒවා නෙමේ ඉලූෂන්ස් කියලා මිරුංගු වගේ දේවල් කියලා අර ඒක එහෙම සෙපරේට් වෙනකොට මේ අර එහෙම මේ එතකොට තමන්ට අර බර නැති වෙනවා පින් ඔතුනේ ඒ බරක් නැති වෙනවා තමන් ඒගොල්ලන් අතර ඉන්නවා හැබැයි අර ඒවා වැඩිය ඔළුවට ගන්න යන්නේ නෑ මොකද ඒක තමන්ගේ අර මුලාව ඇතුලේ මොලේ අර අනවබෝධ වෙච්ච මොලේ අවදි වෙලා තියෙනවා පොඩ්ඩක් දැන් මේ විදිහට අවබෝධයට එන කල්පනා කරන හින්ද සෝරි 
Ya. You will be more serving that person more better without the negative part of it. Even if you worry, you're not going to solve the problem of another person. Worry, okay, that will drive you to look, be more concerned. But that will not guarantee you are going to really solve the problem. But if you are not worried, you will be more efficient, you will have more energy to perform that duty. You will be a person who performs duties to people. And, uh, and that way, and also you set an example of, to that person, how to come out of this, uh, I mean, to teach someone to be self-realized. To know, I mean, to be un- undisturbed by difficult situations. It's the biggest gift you can give to the world. But that you can't give by preaching and teaching is when you have experienced such a state and then you're demonstrating that, that will be a big light to the people. So I know what you mean, like if you don't have, uh, uh, you take all the selfish parts away and dangering, uh, but this uh, damaging parts away. Now, for example, I, now I, I have my personal sometimes situations where I see I meet certain people. Maybe I met them before and all that, but now I'm happy. I'm not taking any selfish, there's no selfish motive in that connection. And I'm happy that I'm helping them to, to be also self-realized rather than, you know, if I made use of them for my personal something, for example, if I met without this type of mindset and this understanding, this is only just a, sel- a selfish experience. Now, once I remember, I had a grandmother, great-grandma, and uh, one of my cousins. Uh, actually, he was in the he was a pilot. He was he couldn't join the Air Lanka, and so he joined this uh, the uh, Air Force just to have flying hours. So he was taking six, six, uh, sixty or ninety commandos. It's well known this thing, and he was the second pilot, and it disappeared. Now my grandmother couldn't make up her mind, you know, she actually suddenly had never seen the Aranya. So, it's a long story, I'll just tell, then I came to... Now there's another interesting thing. When I came home, now some one part of my relations, they were so materialistic, they were really worried about my life. They were wondering, what is his future, why this young man, I was then young, not like now. So that, I didn't know that time because when I came from South Africa, Wherever my cousins they are going, I they take me, I also go. Later I realize I don't have to go. <laughs> Why should I? <laughs> and so that time, I, but I didn't go and dance or anything. I used to meditate. One place I danced just to show my cousins that I'm not a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and this girl got really, this thing, I, while dancing, I said, all this is dumb. <laughs> And she thought, who is this weird person? <laughs> and she was waiting to slowly go and sit down somewhere, you know, and it happened like that. And I just continued the whole night until four o'clock. So this was my beginning period. Then I got to know that, you know, that you don't have to. So at this age, I was, um, you know, it's, it's a bit, um, uh, it looks odd sometimes. It doesn't look, so anyway, some of my relations were really, you now they are crying and of course long time ago they changed, they got convinced. Even my father was really not sure whether this will continue, with this right passing. So what happened, my, uh, uh, then th- when this happened, now they were all waiting for me. They were wondering with this meditating relation, how is he taking up? Because now they were all feeling the suffering. Now they may be advisors to this and that. They, they could be, they were holding big positions in the country, but they just can't bear, I mean, uh, reality. And I was just a boy, you know, and of course they were trying to co- control also. My parents are also very simple and these relations, they were li- trying to... My God, this is recorded, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 don't edit. I have told this not to edit. Just put as it is. It's, it's a problem now, that's the problem of my relations. They had to face with a, you know, monk now in public. <laughs> yes, I relate to my personal life. Anyway, this is true also. Uh, because even my grandfather, all these people, my parents are very... Actually, that's why I was born there, I guess. 
there are some special genes in them. That's why I think in Sri Lanka there are families who can bring certain ba babies and this is a great people, I would say. I'm now thinking about them. So they, uh, so they, this was the situation. But so my grandma, they were all okay. But now when they faced this crisis, this situation, they were all waiting to see how Shanaki is take, going to take up. So I came. I went straight. I'm answering you in the wrong way, but I came to my room. I could see everybody there. And I just went to my room. I want to be with myself. Only my mother came in. I relax. And this suffering is going to come to me also, if I think the wrong way. But I remembered how the training I went through when I was in the forest with my teacher. Just I came from the forest. How to see, to see how the ear is not you and how the objects are not you. If it is you, it should bring good news. Why is it bringing bad news? And then how to, when I was applying those things, the meditation Buddha explains how the ear to watch the ear and to see how it's really you or not you. Now, these are simple exercises, but when I was doing that, I was really feeling like another ear. Now, someone may think I'm insensitive. Am I right? They're sensitive or insensitive, right? Yeah. Um, but then my, my mother saw me, I was becoming tranquil, and she saw me. And she saw I, she's also suffering. And she knows that we were like, more than my brother, we were more close. And then she worshipped, of course. Those days I was not a monk. Uh, so then uh, even the relations, they begin to get this faith. In the, the, then they realize there's something, you know, that our relation, what he's doing. So this is one place. They were encouraged, and even now they would remember how I was in parties, you know, taking like meditation. I was in parties, but I was, you know, the mental peace was working in me, and slow motion <laughs> taking. <laughs> and then, then my uh, later on, but my f grandmother was not, I was not able to make up her mind. She was like, you know, she was sort of waning away and this was bothering her so much. She couldn't make up her mind. Actually, she stopped even lighting the lamp for a few days, thinking Buddha is like a god. Just imagine. Why I pray so much and why this suffering? So I also had no way to console her. One day I got the way. One day I met her and I told Achi, um, you know, when Sia died, uh, Sia died, well, you managed to make up your mind, there's no problem. But this Mali, you feel so, we call him Mali, right? That cousin. Mali, you can't make up, yeah, you know. Yeah, and you told that time Sia, when Sia died, that because of the Dhamma and her detachment and she could, you know. But Mali is a faraway relation, not a close person. Without Sia, you don't get Mali also. Right? See, yeah, then this is, uh, so why is this faraway person you feel so attached? She, she didn't say anything. Then I said, yes, Sia is to always call you every evening. She's he to take little whiskey and, you know, and she had to just sit down there and just, she would have been waiting for the day when Sia is going to die. Because my, my grandfather was known like he was like a Hitler, you know, he was like very dominating and, but he's a principal person. Anyway, he was like, um, you know, so the feelings you get from the husband also, the feelings, you were getting painful feelings. So you detest that. So then now this cousin of mine, he makes anything, you know, some repair, if something happens, pays the bills. She so was like a handy person for my grandmother. He was sitting upstairs. So now the good feelings that was got from my cousin, she was not getting, she was missing that. So she's attached to what? For her feelings, not to persons. So you can see the selfishness of it. But when I explained to her, she got some peace. She got to know how this is happening because, well, I am really not concerned about the grandson or anyone like that. It is my own personal self-interest. <laughs> I go along, but my answers are like that sometimes. I relate to what really happened and... So, I told you my greatest gift from my teacher was what? Mainly, I have many, but the main thing was he's giving me the right GPS. So, what do you mean by GPS? Do you know now what it is? What is that? Sorry? Yeah, I know that is right, but what is that? What is the. Now you un remember that very well. 
guru position system right <laughs> not that i mean uh, like which one, what is your gps my youtube clips hmm? is it the youtube clips of buddha's teaching yeah original teachings the translation so you have to i mean you, this is i i really wish you that you can keep not wish you this is the way keep the books and then uh, sort of you know there are times where buddha explained about four elements applied to that and the other way you have other things to clear like anything addictive you will begin to now it takes time to digest all this lot of material given uh, i given for all stages of things to come out of this sort of muck some might not see it it's like a muck you know it's like i rather stay in the muck than you know i have very interesting i find some places like uh, old time you know like some ghost haunted places there are old judges they are occupying that uh, building and to see they don't want ex- they don't want to get the merit they don't want to get liberated from that condition just imagine here yeah, is so interesting how you just you know you got so attached to that house and dwelling it was a british time this judge and they are there like that you know the it, there was a situation where i was a, one was able to know that this who are there in this goes to see this one of the judge at the time then he was occupying this whole house and now he's still there so that house is also like you know anyone going there is like making it and uh, they're not developing anything they can't build up anything is because he's so attached to that old structure <laughs> he's not telling he's telling them when the bus come the he gets some feeling he want to go he don't care about money or anything <laughs> so just imagine you know this atta- now this is what happens if actually we don't see the gravity i have no time further to explain how just been distracted by your children your family and um, you know any other thing you get attached to so that's why if you don't master this enough you don't get distracted by these things you can't have a guarantee even how many cutting up incomes you have done how many dhanas you have given i don't think so my friend i mean you might that karma will follow you you might be born in a rich family or a rich family might look after you like you have pomeranian and all these you know dogs that looked after by so well that karma you can see how it comes because you get angry that's another that's the interesting thing how what takes you to a lower world is greed anger that have the distracting thoughts you don't you are not able to control your moment of death so that's the main yardstick of development is where you are not reacting with anger or greed so that needs the faculty saddha sati samadhi panya virya that they are daily nourished and practice so reading is one part applying it then without stress how you move your body and do your activities this is another part sense restraint another part then uh, daily absorbing that fully energy you know getting that tranquility in a high dosage morning time that like you brush wash your then maintaining that mental tranquility while driving doing other work now i notice i don't know maybe you all now your some of your meetings now they look little handsome also i don't know something bit different i notice that <laughs> sometimes but we must be know that suddenly you will be put into devil will be behind you and but the other way don't get upset when you are again going to some temptation or but don't worry now he's this thing is broken so but you are, sometimes you must have patience suddenly you feel you are out of control again but don't worry you know okay okay you take me i i know my path now you know you can tell him mm-hmm. <laughs> so my friends now we are going to slowly stop okay uh, the last i want to do a certain meditation just 5 minutes and <laughs> very interesting no <laughs> when i say meditation you all are moving all this time were you not in meditation <laughs> okay this is i think you know i hope next time you get to know how to stay even listen to the bana without like you know relaxed way without you know feeling um so that you always you are doing this you are relaxingly listening to somebody you are relaxingly taking your food watching that so you are enjoying a certain degree of that is your comfort 
So anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so we touched some points today, interesting in a way. It's going a bit going. Yesterday it's a huge crowd, but today I'm get got some more interesting side of uh, points. I hope you know I have to just naturally. I like to come to this topic a lot slowly to make you have this vipassana in your mind, so that. I normally tell one how to relax the body, but I don't do this now today. But just uh, when you're, can you notice the sound immediately? The sounds that you're going through. I know when you are young also, when trying to be quiet, it's not easy. Suddenly it makes all sort of. Um, just pay attention to what you're hearing immediately now. Don't go to meditation like you're going to the gallows. <laughs> Just relax the body and pay attention to the sounds you're immediately hearing. If you're so silent, you don't hear, oh, you're coughing. Again, coughing. Just note the cough sound. the coughing, accept the sound and notice it. When you are naturally noticing, <coughs> relaxing, you are not wishing to have no sound, you are only trying to hear properly. Just pay attention to what you immediately hear. When you are relaxing and paying attention like that, as I told you before, you will be noticing naturally that you are breathing in and out, the lungs expanding, especially when you are trying to get the breath, you know, in inhalation, because that is very obvious, right? When all the breath goes out, you just draw in air. When you naturally notice, you are inside. <coughs> and then you picture yourself, how you are seated, how your body is covered by jerseys or jackets or t-shirt. In my case, a robe, and how you are seated, like you are looking from outside. And when you are watching like that, you can also say, Rupam Bikkave. Now, if you are reading one day those books, now I am telling in Pali, it may be English or Sinhalese, just apply what you are reading to what you are watching yourself. Buddha says, Rupam Bhikkave Anatta, the body is not yourself. He is telling like this. Why is it not yourself? He questions you. Abhadaya is subjected to affliction. Sangvateya, Labbeta Charupe, you can't order the body. Evam me Rupam Hotu. Eva me rupang ma ahositi. May the body be like this, may the body not be like that. Like if it is got old, it is afflicted. If it has sickness, it is afflicted. If it has to face death, it is afflicted. These things are bound to happen. And you can't order, may this not happen, and may this happen. 
When you have no control, you just picture your own body that is now seated. Is this not the reality you question actually, silently? You might notice, really, if I can't do like that, this is not me. When you get this noticing of that is not you, like another body, how peaceful it is. Heva metang yata bhutang. This you see with more tranquility and clarity. Nibindati, virachati, nirodeti, nipananti. You will turn away from this body. You will turn away from these feelings, perceptions. Nibindati, virachati. If you have proper knowledge, awareness, there's no question of letting go. And when you let go like that, you are first time experiencing what is beyond body, beyond consciousness. That is Nibbana. Nitung etang santang, etang panitang, sabba sankara samato, patinisako, tannakkayo, virago, niroto, nipananti. How peaceful it is, all the formations. <coughs> come into an end, come into a stillness. Sankara parama dukkha nibbanam paramang sukham The sankaras are suffering, existence is suffering, nibbana is highest peace. When you do like that, this peacefulness, you spread it, may all the people in this hall, may they experience that. You picture them. <coughs> Like you're going in a helicopter, all in the neighborhood, Birmingham, England, then Great Britain, Ireland, all human beings in different places. May they get this peacefulness. Then Europe, Africa, Mediterranean, North America, South America, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Syria, Russia, China, India. Like you're looking from outside Australia, this whole planet, these human beings, may they get this peacefulness, this happiness. Not only human beings, animal world, spirit worlds, Vetarani, Paduma, Avicya, from the lowest worlds, to the highest worlds, the angelic worlds, Chatu Maharaj, Gatavatim, Satu Sita. Now they don't have too much greed, hate and delusion. May it completely disappear in them. May they get Nibbana. Brahma Purohita, Brahma Parisajya, Maha Brahma, Vehapala, Abhasara, Hakanita Brahma Loka, Ne Sanya, Na Sanya. Those Lokas don't have Greed, hate, but there is delusion, sense of I, ego. When that weight of I-ness is also disappeared, when they have seen the conceptualizing completely, like the Arahants, may that happen to all of them. Like you are picturing from the space, all these realms of existence, from the lowest to the highest, may they experience this peacefulness. Human world, animal world, lower worlds, Deva Loka, Brahma Loka, the highest worlds. You can do this practice. I am going to give you certain blessings. So, after these blessings, please try not to talk. Some energy from, you could say, samadhi or 
So this is coming from actually the mountains who have lived a solitary saintly life, Himalayas. So the, those people who are living a life of meditation, so this, uh, if you want to get the full blessings, it's good to be silent like they, how they spent, at least until tomorrow morning. You can take dinner or whatever, just keep that energy in your brain. If it, you talk a lot or do something too much, the energy will come, go back from where it came. So if it kept, you will get something more for your life, for your future. And you can take some food, dinner, relax, night, do, if you have time, like meditation, okay. Morning you can talk. Anyone have any particular difficulty that you want me to give me some special, some something I will think about you all? Anybody? You can slightly raise your hand. I could not. Something you feel. Stand up a little bit. See you. This one. Yeah. Relax the body. Just relax the body. Relax, Karanda. Close your eyes and wait for five minutes. 